Hello, friends. Oh my goodness, why is that song so much shorter than I <laughs> remember it being? Hello, hello. How's everybody doing today? Let's get everything switched on over. Um, that should be probably the right sound mix, I believe. Uh, it's a lovely uh, Wednesday, right? Is today Wednesday for most of us? Hello, hello, hello. Is that loud? No, just for me. Hi, I've there's so many so people bad. here already. Kitty, Toy Chica, Star, Adora, hi, Christian, Nuno, Alicia, Jasper, Jack, hello, hello, Philippe, hi. Excited for the live? You've been waiting for this all day. Oh, it's 7 p.m. where you live. Oh my goodness. An evening stream. Wait a minute. In typical Tink fashion. I'm so sorry. Why am I so unprofessional? My controller is not plugged in. Give me uno momento. The music was a little loud. It was a little louder than it typically was, I think. I am apologize. I feel like it's usually quiet, though. Like, a lot quieter than, like, I don't know, a voice or something. Hi, Samantha. Your good work is crazy. How am I? Oh, wait, no. You're not even talking to me. Never mind. Don't mind me. <laughs> JDS, hi. Liz, hi. Jay, it's been an expensive day. Wait, why? Rebecca, hi. How are you? Okay. Deja, hello. Okay, let me run around and just do some um, resource collecting while everyone trickles in and I say hey and try to read the chat and everything. Hi, fangirl. Um, oh my goodness, let me just say... If one amazing thing came out of clearing my valley, it's um, these tree farms, these like wood farms. They're so convenient. I can't even express how big of a difference this had made. This has made in my dark wood collecting journey. It's wild. It's so easy. You made eight large chests for your flowers. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. That's like two hundred dark wood and like. 40,000 dream light or something like that, right? That is an expensive day. Hi, Candia. How are you? Rosa, hi. WK, hi. Okay, so today's plan. I should probably just start off my streams with that, shouldn't I? But sometimes I'm like, I don't know. Um, today's plan, um, pretend or like stop pretending that Nala doesn't exist. That's one of the things. And the second thing is probably to start decorating the plaza, which may or may not end up being our park. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Wait, can you just speak in Spanish? Wait, for why? Oh, Deja, you weren't even here and you came back with a membership. Congrats. That's exciting. Welcome to the member life. Ignis, hi, how are you? Egg. <laughs> Egg. Yes, 40,000 Dreamlight and 200 Darkwood. Look at me doing math. I'm less surprised at the math part and more surprised at me remembering the cost of the large chests, even though I've crafted so many of them. I should remember them, right? You made it an hour into the destruction destruction video before you had to switch over here. Well, this is the result of the destruction. And to be fair, we placed a couple things. Like, we tried to move some buildings into roughly where I want them to be, or at least the biome that I want them to be in. Yeah, I have space in my inventory now. Um, remember Nala's waterfall. Yes, that's why I want to start um, Nala's quest line. And 40 gold bars. I forgot you need gold for those. Hi, Ken. How are you? Burrito wrestler. Hi. Win a bagel. Oh my goodness, you're here. Welcome. Listen, friends. Um, I randomly came across Win a Bagel's um, like first impressions slash. It wasn't really first impressions. It was more like a review slash is it any good video about Disney Speedstorm? And oh my goodness, I feel like it put me to shame. It was so concise, yet so thorough. And Winnebago's energy is just fantastic. So then I went and hung out in their um, Twitch stream today and it was a fabulous time. So um, Kitty, would you actually mind grabbing their channel link, please? If you don't mind um, and sharing it with the chat because I definitely recommend that you check them out. And if you're a Twitcher, 
go watch them on Twitch. I had a fantastic time this morning. I'm doing well, Deja. Thank you for asking. You're on your way home from a kiddo's field trip. Exciting to see me decorate or excited to see me decorate. Yeah, the decorating might come a little bit later. You know, I always have to like hype myself up. Wait, why am I trying to put vegetables in here? That's silly. I always have to hype myself up for the decorating. You only have one large chest for now. Don't have dark wood to make more. That's fair. Honestly, the medium chests are also great. I feel like they're a lot more efficient of a use of resources. I just like am in pro hoarder mode all the time. So I try to have large chests to take up less space. On vacation at your brother's house. Oh no, I'm so sorry that you're bored. Hopefully stream can be a fun time. Check to the mailbox. I have, listen, I'm on top of this. I made a video about the rewards and everything. Um, actually, these were my favorite rewards ever. I feel like some people probably thought the thumbnail was clickbait, but I actually do think these were the best rewards that we got. The iron and the dark wood. I'll use it. Winnebagel is such a clever name, isn't it? It's fantastic. Everything about their branding and um, the experience is just immaculate. Is it Moline? Please correct me if I'm pronouncing your name horribly. Welcome to the stream. You just subscribed to the channel today. Welcome. You're lurking for now, just doing valley chores. Mood, I hope you have a great time. Playing on your hubby's game pass. So tempted to start over under your own account, but after finding out you deleted the baby bushes. Oh no, <laughs> not the baby bushes. You might still be able to, like if you have your own account, just pull over the cloud save if you didn't want to be under your husband's game pass. Let's find Nala. But starting over is understandable also. The only thing that's really making me want to start over is Ariel's crafting bench. Can you buy chests or only craft? You can only craft the larger ones. Um, well, the ones that you can craft are like the small, medium, and large ones here. The ones that you can buy... Where do I have one now? Sorry, I moved everything around when I destroyed my valley, so it might be hard for me to find one. I think I have one over here. These ones that you keep in your home, you can buy extras of these from Scrooge, and there's another color you can buy from Scrooge, too. These are the shared storage, so any chest like this that you have anywhere in the valley, it's going to have the same items in it. Let me rearrange some of this. Ignore the fact that everything is a mess. Are the villagers still trapped in their houses? You know, I think I moved them, so I think they can all get out, which is probably for the best. It would not make for a very happy valley if everybody was stuck in their homes. Hi, Kayla, how are you? Getting your Nintendo Switch and playing Dreamlight Valley now, amazing. Playing while watching streams, I feel like, is the best way to watch streams. What are the baby bushes? Oh, don't get me started on the baby bushes. We'll go look at them. I love the baby bushes. You heard they patched the crafting bench and you can't make two. Wait, lay Hi. Um, oh, I, okay. Um, I'm hoping you can help me. Simba's still a bit uncertain in his role as king. How can I encourage him? Um, listen to him? Why does that give patriarchal vibes? Um, listen to him. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. When I get upset as a cub, uh, my mom would listen to me. And even if she couldn't do anything, just being heard made me feel better. Goodbye. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, mm. we need to figure out her favorite gifts and give those to her as well. Because she's not even level two yet. I can't even hang out with her. Nothing like watching a Tink stream while doing some digital drawings. Ooh, fun. What are you working on? Let's figure out what Nala wants today. You have so many of the eggs too. What are they even for? You haven't had to use them and you have hundreds. Um, there are a bunch of seasonal things you can craft. Um, let me see if I can find them. They're all like spread out in collections. So mm, like this over easy egg chair, all of the recipes should be at your crafting table. 
Um, what else? The spring egg bounty, the spring stall, the sunny side up arch. And I want to say there's one more thing. But maybe I'm making that up. And when you craft those, you can complete some special seasonal events. Where are they? These ones with the eggs. That's not where eggs come from. That's when you pick eggs from the bushes, I think, or when you pick up... No, no, no. When you plant the egg seeds and then you harvest the egg seeds. The spring taste test is by making the three egg recipes. Um, picking flowers with Wally doesn't actually have to do with the eggs, but it's fun. And exceptional decorating is when you craft those egg items and then you place them around. Other than that, they're just there. Nothing really to do with them. Hi, Taki. How are you? Okay, Nala. Fish risotto, potato puffs, and a red Forgotten Lands flower. Let's do it. Sabotage his enemy. <laughs> I feel like that's definitely a vibe. But I don't know if it's Nala's vibe. Ooh. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? Working on another comic page for your original story. Oh, that's so cool. Um, we need to cook. Fish risotto. Wait, no, I moved all of the um, outdoor cooking areas when I got rid of everything. Fish risotto and potato puffs, I think, were the things that she wanted. It's weird that you can't see those ones in your game. Wait, you can't see those achievements? What do you mean that you can't see? The way I have my building set up is exactly the way you have your plaza set up. Wait, really? Interesting. That's cool. Wait, I don't know what that is, Thomas. But if you are nervous, you can join. You can actually change your profile just for specific servers on Discord if you want to. Like if you don't want us to see your profile picture that you usually use. Potato puffs. Oh, the Easter achievements. Interesting. They should be there because the event is still happening. It's under village. And the other one is a fish risotto. Or risotto. Awesome. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Carly, hi. Finally catching a stream. Amazing. You're excited to be here. Gonna play along this morning on your Switch. Hope everyone's doing well. Thank you for being here. What are you up to in the valley today? Listening while reconciling a company credit card statement. Oh my goodness. Wait, did I just pass Nala? No, that was Scar. <laughs> That sounds like a lot of work. Until the 29th. Yeah, I thought so. It's so warm. Oh, maybe I'll take a nap. Okay, let's see. Nala, I need you. After the event is over, do the eggs just disappear? The ones in your inventory won't or your storage, but I'm assuming I don't I don't like how they do that. They always spawn like no. <laughs> Rip. Um the bushes will probably disappear. Okay, take two. Nala, may I speak with you? Oh, hey there. Oh, hey, uh, ah, there's no way to win. Um, I have something to give you. Hi, Yana, how are you? Okay, perfect. Oh no, I've just remembered. Wait, no. Oh, wait. Oh, I was so confused. I was like, she was at level one. Why is she at level three? I didn't even pick something for her. But now I'm not sure. 
I had this planned out and now I can't remember what I want to give her. I think I'm going to give her fishing though. I don't think I have many fishers. Everything the light touches is part of this new place. Okay. Hi. What do you have for me, Nala? I've been scouting the valley and it seems to have many of the things we have at home. Lots of water holes, gathering spots, and caves. Huh? And a few things I don't understand very well. But there's one thing missing that would make it better for lions. Do you think you could help me change that? Um... <laughs> I always love that there's an option like, no thanks. <laughs> yes, let's make Dreamlight Valley more lion friendly. Uh -huh. Thank you. So in the Pride Lands, I'm in charge of finding food and keeping the Pride safe and fed. I'd like to do that for this place too. But there isn't a good hunting ground. Um, let's see. I'll make one so you feel more at home or a hunting ground. What do we need for that? But there's nothing around here to hunt. I mean, there's not really. There must be something. Antelope, zebra, gazelle. They try to blend into the landscape. <laughs> but if we make a hunting ground, the grasses should lure them out. We'll need to find a stretch of flat land somewhere without much to get in the way. No, Nala, I really hate <laughs> to break it to you. <laughs> I guess Dazzle Beach would be the closest thing we have. All right, we'll want to create some cover for us to crouch behind and carve some trails to help bring prey out of hiding. Why don't listen? Oh, and there's one more thing that makes a terribly or it makes a territory good for lions. Um, industrial strength catnip. I have no idea what that is. Forget it. It was just a joke. What do we need? <laughs> we need a spot. Where we can rest at the end of a long day. A large flat rock would be best. You know, I have just the thing. Maybe I've got something like that. But if not, Scrooge's store should. I'll check. While you do that, I'll keep scouting for danger. I'll come talk to you once I've made Dazzle Beach lion friendly. Okay. Goodbye. Let's do it. Let's do it. Digger. I, I made Simba dig. So I wanted to, like, make La uh, I almost said Lana. Okay. Make but Nala do something Nala different. Izzy Cat, hi! You're listening while planning programs for- Everyone's doing such cool, intense stuff. That's exciting. Okay. You think fishing went well for her, too? Cool, cool, cool. Hi, Owen. What am I doing? Place Scar's Lounging Rock to use for napping. Place Landscaping Furniture. Okay. Thank you for becoming a channel member, Debbie. Welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy the emotes. You love the new stickers added? You're also going to be lurking in the background while you work on a sewing project and packing for your trip. Amazing. Where are you going? I don't think I've heard about this. Jer, hi. How are you? Okay. Scar's Lounging Rock. I'm just going to set these here for now because I fully don't intend to use this because the sand doesn't match. And also because we're going to be decorating... You don't belong. We're going to be decorating everything from scratch eventually. So for now, you know what, we'll just add some items. That I guess look pretty enough. Do we have, like, a larger palm tree? Ah, oh, we do. Give them a bit of shade, I guess. Can I reach that rock? Probably not with that there. Orchid base? That's probably seven, right? Oh, yeah. You're working on tech packs? I don't know what that is, Kitty, but that's exciting. Lurking and working, amazing. You made her a digging friend, but you're always digging, so it's fine. And you can always change her if you want to with one of the training manuals. There it is. This one night thorn has been hiding from me. You would think that since I have nothing in my valley, it would have been easier for me to find that. But I had one rogue night thorn. Actually, that makes me think. How many more night thorns do I have to clear? Oh, I'm so close. Within 100. 
So probably in the next week or so, I should be done with that. Superfluous, you're excited to see new decorations in the valley? Yes, we're going to get to that probably within the next half hour or so. I do just want to do some quests with Nala first because I haven't started them at all. Hi, Melanie. Hello. Hello. This is so great. I'm making a bunch of new friends. There she is. Let's see. Oh, also, what does everyone think of my outfit today? I didn't even talk about this, even though I was so <laughs> I was so happy. I put it on um, just before stream because I, I feel like everything the light touches is part of this new place. Disney Speedstorm has me kind of back in my Monsters Inc. era, so I really wanted to honor that with this outfit. Hi, Ashley. How are you? Wait, no, don't leave, Nala. Do we have I new emotes? Um, I added a couple yesterday, maybe. Hello. But I haven't added more since then. I have two slots. We've got like a poll <laughs> going for the members, which one they like the most. So we'll see. Um, I really appreciate it. And now I can teach you to pounce just like Simba and I learned to do as cubs. Hmm. But before we start, you're not really dressed for pouncing lessons. Uh -huh. You need to be protected from the heat of the sun and ready to hide in the underbrush. Since you don't have fur like I do, maybe you could find some of those coverings you wear on your body. Great, I'll put on some more rustic clothes. No, my outfit. Oh, and whiskers. You'll need some sort of whiskers. Um, I'll see what I can do. I use mine to help me navigate and detect what's around me, so you'll have to find something like that. Okay, I'll make sure I'm wearing whiskers for this. Mm. Let's meet on Dazzle Beach when you're ready for your first pouncing lesson. Okay. Thank you. You've got time you're watching while you take a break from job, job hunting to grinding your game. Nice. Love for the outfit. Thank you. You love the backpack? The backpack is so cute. I took this, I think, um, in my outfit from the avatar designer tool because I didn't want to wait to get it in game. It's so cute. Um, go to Dazzle Beach, put on two pieces of rustic clothing and put on some whiskers, a mustache should do the trick. Okay, but it's going to be very funny if I get stuck in a mustache because I've heard some people were having that as a glitch, right? Where they couldn't take it off. I do love the overalls though. I'm not really mad about wearing overalls. Maybe we'll just change into that and then change back into this later or yeah, let's probably do that. Playing along, moving your Toontown to the Glade so you have more room in the meadow for your theme park area. Amazing, Rachel. I think I've seen quite a few people have Mickey and Minnie in the Glade. And it looked really cute. Okay, boots. And overalls. Actually, this is very similar to the outfit, I think, that I pulled myself into the game in. Okay. Tink the lioness. Oh my goodness. Um, which mustache is the mustache for us? What do we think? Handlebar mustache? Thick downturned mustache? Or tapered downturned mustache? Awaiting votes. Actually... I would make a poll, but that would take way too long. Just type <laughs> type your votes. That happened to you restarting the game was able to fix it, though. I don't know. If we get stuck in a mustache for the stream, that's not the worst thing that could happen to us. I wouldn't mind that much. Hopefully this Friday we'll get a new update fixing some bugs, but also adding this update surprise character. Wait, is that something that we've heard about for sure? I don't imagine we're getting a surprise character. Handlebar, handlebar. Oh my goodness. Wow. So many people vote handlebar. That's it. <laughs> That's what we'll go with then. Cute. Now look at us. We look so dapper. Um, wait, somebody said something about Friday though, and that reminded me. Um, Nala, where are you? You might not be here yet. Maybe I could start just cleaning up the beach a little bit while she makes her way over here. Um, guess what's happening in Speedstorm on Friday? 
Dapper Tank, amazing. Um, in Speedstorm on Friday, we're getting an event so we can get Figment. I'm so excited. I love Figment, which I'm sure is not a surprise to anybody with how much I love Disney World. And he's been virtually impossible to get so far in Speedstorm because it's just like a random pull from a loot box. But we're getting an event where it's going to be easy to get him. I know Nala's right there, but let me just break these corals, okay? The Figment Cup event! Yes, I'm so excited! Use the Dapper Bunny. I could. Actually, wait. I'm not even sure if I can because I don't know... Oh, wait, no, you can still pull them. I was going to say, I don't know if he's in one of the critter houses right now. But I think you can still pull them out when they're in the critter houses. Okay. You got one or two shards for him. That's good. Hi. Oh my goodness, Woody's back there. Um, I looked over the beach. You've done a wonderful job. Now there are plenty of trails and pouncing spots for us. And your covering should work well. Um, It should be good enough for our expedition. Oh no, 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 no! I was trying to turn the camera, but I skipped past the dialogue lines. We just need to lie in wait. Let me teach you how to pounce. Um... I could use all the pouncing tips I can get. It's fairly simple. You lie down flat, then leap forward when something comes along. Just follow my lead and stay quiet. Hmm. I wish we had like an actual cutscene. I think that would be fun. Hi, Prib. How are you? Big Min amazing. I know! You got the game and you added me. Amazing, Adora. I hope you're enjoying it. I wonder why this isn't working. You do have prey here, don't you? No, ma'am, I told you this. Antelope? Zebras? Gazelles? Maybe a wildebeest? We just don't have many animals like that in the valley. Um, most animals around here are my friends. Oh, well, I guess we make friends with prey sometimes too, like Simba did with Timon and Pumbaa. That does leave us with a problem, though. What will I eat? Oh, I know! You could eat fish. We've lots of fish. I'm not too good at fishing. No, ma'am, you actually are. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> I don't do very well with water. Don't worry, Nala. Just watch and I'll show you how I fish. Um, I'm okay at it, so we'll practice together. That sounds good. I helped you learn to pounce. Now you can help me learn to fish. I'll try to catch some fish to show you how. And maybe I'll even catch a few rare or unique fish, so you can see it's not so tough. Goodbye. You're so excited you're playing Speedstorm while watching? Amazing, Riley! Okay, we need to catch common or uncommon fish. Catch rare or unique fish. To show Nala it's not so tough. Okay, Nala, come with me. Um, let's hang out. Been watching on your computer while playing backgammon on your phone. Nice. Thanks for popping out of lurk to say hi. Nope, that's not it. Merlin just stole 500 Dreamlight from you for Mirabelle's house? Wait, what? I don't remember that being a thing. Imagine me aiming into the fishing bubble. Hmm. Even clearing out the fountain area? Wait, like in my valley, I cleared out every area except for Stitch's house and um, my pillars. You think I should keep the fit on? I mean, I am for now. Eventually I'll change back to like the full Monsters Inc. look. But for now, this is a good one. Fish are friends, not food. I mean, I mean, I think we are actually going to have a problem, though, if we ever get... I don't even know how functionally that would happen, though, for us to get Finding Nemo characters. Or even if slash when we get, like, Sebastian or Flounder or something, it would feel a bit weird to just be, you know, pulling actual literal crabs out of the water when Sebastian's just hanging out there, you know? It would be like the Les Poissons, but worse because it's us. 
Hi, Cozy Lily. How are you? The mustache, it's great, okay? We actually look really good in a mustache. You did new recipes with the here and there fish? Nice! I haven't caught one yet. Because that's later on in Nala's questline, I think, right? Um, I need... yes. Bluefish. The way that just gave me one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. You're in a Monsters, Inc. look too. You love it? Amazing. I really do want to watch it. I was going- I was thinking about watching it this morning, but I was doing some editing for videos and such, and I can't, like... It's wild. I can usually watch... Wait a minute. Something isn't right here. I've got a spidey sense, in the words of Lin-Manuel Miranda. Um... There should be a fishing bubble there, and it's usually a golden one, so that's unfortunate. I was saying something. Oh, I can't usually, like, watch TV shows or movies when I'm editing. I can usually watch streams or, um, like, documentaries sometimes or certain YouTube videos. I don't know why. Okay, one more. Have to pop into a meeting? No worries. No worries. I hope it goes well. Okay. Mm. Start gliding. When we fish an aerial is near fishing for crabs with Sebastian. That would be so mean. I don't think I could do it. Oh no. I don't know why, but this music is really putting me in a trance today. Does that ever happen to you? I don't know what it is about this game music. Hey Nala. Wow, you caught so many fish. I guess we have a lot to learn from each other, but maybe we should eat first. I'm starving. Hey, there's another- that's- that is- hello? Oh my goodness. That is another thing I could teach you. I haven't even had any of my tea yet. I haven't had any caffeine. There's no reason. The art of fine cuisine. Usually, we humans would prepare fish before eating it. We could... Mm, wrap them in rice and seaweed to make sushi. Mm -hmm. You're the expert, but whatever we do, could we do it fast? Mm -hmm. My stomach's grumbling. Don't worry, maybe you can relax near that resting spot I made for you while I make you some food. Bring Nala any fish meal. Oh, wait, I have fish risotto. Wait. I never actually gave her the other two things that were her favorite meals. Okay, I'm not going to give her the fish risotto, though, because that is one of her favorite gifts of the day. Hi, Amanda. How are you? Yeah, thank you for the 41 likes on stream so far, friends. Much appreciated. Okay, let's cook something else. Sometimes the game music is too relaxing and you start to fall asleep while playing. I've never fall, like fallen asleep, but... I do sometimes just start to like go into a little bit of a daze. Don't we have like grilled fish or something? Fish entree, maybe? We have stuff, right? Oh, I'm in the wrong category, that's why. Hmm. Let's do crispy baked cod. Some days ago, you woke up mumbling the game soundtrack. Oh my goodness. I do sometimes wake up humming things. What sort of special hey, Nala. <laughs> this looks great. But I think anything would look good to me right now. I'm so hungry I could eat a whole water buffalo. May I? Uh, bon appetit. Here goes. Well, one thing's for sure. That was much better than grubs. Now that you've helped me with the hunting grounds, I'll do what I can to keep finding food and watch out for danger. 
Thanks, you're a really good friend. Um... Oh, thanks, so are you! That means a lot. With both of us looking out for this valley, I think everything's going to be just fine. Okay, cool. I can give you more gifts, Nala, but I do want to, like, walk out of the building first. Hmm. Anyone still, like, side-eyeing the floating islands? Like, that one over there definitely looks like it has, like, a full-size tree on it and stuff. Have chill music on Dreamlight Valley, and then you get adrenaline pumping music on Speedstorm. Both are good. Oh, for sure. Okay, let me give you this fish risotto. Before you set your desk up, you always fell asleep within a half hour of playing. Oh my. Good job, Nala. Oh, I didn't even really look at these friendship level rewards. Um, is this a wallpaper, this level five reward? If so, that's really cool. This looks like a furniture piece, like a wall art item. This is like a room divider. And then this really cool water fountain. Not water fountain. Oh my goodness. Waterfall. You play at nights to wind down and have dozed off many times while playing. Oh my. Um. And Nala? Huh? Um, I found something strange on one of my patrols. I've been trying to figure it out. Actually, that reminds me, we also have to pick up Buzz's next alien quest. Um, I've been trying to figure it out, but I think I need your help. Uh, sure, what did you find? I was patrolling near Skull Rock off Dazzle Beach when I smelled something odd. Hmm. My whiskers even started twitching. Oh, there she is. I was like, where's Minnie? I hear her voice. Um, strange smell? It reminded me of when Simba and I were young and we explored the elephant graveyard. Oh. It was musty, like something just starting to rot. I got closer to investigate and found something buried in the ground. The tide had washed away the sand on top of it, huh? so I dug it out. It was a small brown thing that looked like me. Like some sort of mystical idol? I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> Rafiki used to make pictures of animals, but this didn't look anything like I've seen before. When I was digging it out, I scratched it with my claw. Huh? Sparks came out of it, like it was going to catch fire, and my whiskers started twitching even more. That's when I decided to come find you. Wait, what is this thing that she's talking about? Hi, Jessica, how are you? Also, yes, about the floating islands. Giving you Tears of the Kingdom? I haven't seen anything about Tears of the Kingdom. Hey, it's a wallpaper. Oh, cool. Your six-year-old is very interested in the floating islands. Every time she sees them, she talks about how she can't wait to find out what they're for. I hope they're, I don't know, some part of the story or something somehow. Um, sounds like another magical mystery. Um, don't worry, you've come to the right person. I thought so. You've solved so, solved so many problems like this for your pride already. Okay, I'll go find this strange thing on Skull Rock near Dazzle Beach. All right, let's go. Hi, Jessica. How are you? You've noticed they're getting closer to the valley? Really? They don't? Really? I feel like they look about the same distance away to me. I can't say I, like, look at them very, very often very intently. But they look about the same distance to me. You did a flower room the other day with Nala's jungle wallpaper? That would look so good. Um, okay. I'm assuming we need to dig something. Ah, yes. They were farther away before, were they? Are we sure about this? Do we have photo evidence? If we do, you should send it to me or put it in the Discord. Because I know for a fact, this one I think has always been like right here. Because I always thought it was annoying whenever I was decorating in this area. And I feel like the other ones have also been that close, but I don't know. You have a feeling they have something to do with multiplayer? That would be neat. Hi Poofy Crossing, how are you? You know what Nala's talking about, but you're not going to spoil it. That's fair. 
Take a photo of the strange mystical... Wait. Eh? I wasn't paying attention. Um, Malene, you can definitely join the Discord. The link should be in the stream's description box. Is the Skull Rock eventually something to unlock, or do they still have it in-game for decoration? For now, there's nothing you can do with it, but I assume in an update in the future, we're going to be able to do something with it. I don't need to be in this picture. That's fine. Me with a mustache. Yes, let's save it. Floaty rocks ain't moving. I didn't think so, Preb. But like I said, I mean, I see them in passing, right? But I don't, like, stare at them frequently or, like, actively keep track. I just... They at least don't seem like they've moved for me. You've recorded your game since launch. Now you're gonna have to go back and review your first videos. Ooh, if you do find that they're different, definitely let me know. Um, so I found out what you were talking about. It's a statue. The weird thing is that the second I picked it up, I saw something shining in the water. It looked like some kind of mystical rift. Here, I took a picture of it to give you a closer look. Hmm. That's so strange. Every time I look towards Dazzle Beach, my whiskers start twitching. <laughs> Ugh, that smell! I know my nose is more sensitive than yours, but it's worse than a whole pack of hyenas. The statue, the rift, the smell, they must be connected somehow. Um... I know we can fix this. I mean, do we know that there's something to fix? I don't know. Maybe if we just bury the statue again. <laughs> Huh? I don't think that's going to help. Aww. The smell isn't just coming from Dazzle Beach anymore. Now I smell it coming from other places in the valley. Uh-oh, where? Oh. The Frosted Heights and the Glade of Trust. If I even look in those directions, my whiskers start twitching. I'll go investigate the Frosted Heights and the Glade of Trust to see if any more mystical rifts have opened up. Maybe there are more of these statues lying around. Oh. Please hurry, the smell is getting worse. <sighs> I'll patrol and make sure nothing dangerous comes through that rift. And by patrol, you mean come with me. You don't have proof. You don't take a lot of photos, but you don't play every day. They seem closer than when you started. That's fair. I also probably have some old footage and stuff, but... You okay, turtle? Just chilling on the stairs? Um, let me put away some of these vegetables so I have room in um, my inventory and also pick up this egg hi silly how are you you should change your name back you feel like a mime wait why my character in game after i put the mustache on <laughs> just all the baguettes um some of those fit in there um see here's the thing you know what I'm just going to put a chest over here. I used to have one specifically for vegetables that I got from Wally's Garden, so I didn't have to, like, bring them with me all the time. But I moved everything around when I started deleting stuff, so I think it's probably still in the Frosted Heights. We'll just put this one here. That, hello, how are you? Oh my goodness, sorry. I thought I was out of furniture mode. How's it going? Wait, are you still out of towning right now? If you are, how's it going? If you're not, how was it? Welcome into the stream. Uh, that should be good. Yes. Um, where's Tinkerbell? Like they said in the update. Um, they never confirmed that Tinkerbell was going to be in the update. I think it was just some speculation from people. I briefly speculated about it as well. <laughs> But yeah, we don't know for sure that Tinkerbell's coming into the game at all, but definitely not a timeline. Hopefully she will be, and hopefully soon. Okay, must find another statue. You can near 100% with certainty say they're not moving, but let's not open that can of worms. Oh no, that's just a night shard. You're good, you're back in Minnesota, amazing. I hope the traveling went well. Have I saved yet? I haven't, but I don't need to save like as I'm playing. I just need to save, here's the thing. 
I feel like I've probably run past whatever I needed to find 50 billion times. Um, I really just need to save when I'm in furniture mode a lot. It's fine otherwise. Okay. Oh, you were originally Amanda J. No worries. Whatever name makes you happy. Hmm, glowing spots, glowing spots for statues. I also need to talk to Buzz. You would think I would have an easier time with this now that there's nothing here. Hmm. Glowing spots, glowing spots. I wonder if maybe I need to, oh, it's literally right here. That's kind of tricky. The drive was long, everything was good. One more trip in 30 days, which will be the last drive. Amazing, and you get to stream tonight. What are you playing tonight, Vet? Okay, we found, I should also read the description on this. This statue bears a faint resemblance to Nala and seems to hum with magical energy. Okay. And then one in Frosted Heights. Does chat have any guesses on the new character coming to the valley? Like the princess that's racing into the valley in the next update? Or, like, a non-princess character that's coming. Yeah, Sully was confirmed ages ago, but no timeline on when he's coming. But tall, screeching, hey, hey, toy at Target? Wait, that's my nightmare. Why? Not an actual screeching, hey, hey, toy. Ooh, another okay, egg. Listen, don't take on too much. We're here for you. Disney Dreamlight Valley, you feel like it's been too long? Amazing. I will try to make it. What am I doing tonight? I don't think anything. How much Wreck-It Ralph um, stuff goes in Scrooge Shop and Cinderella, you're surprised they aren't already in game? Well, Scrooge's Shop is just random. So they have a lot of collection items for a bunch of different collections that we don't have characters for yet. But, like, what shows up in your shop isn't really a reflection of who we're getting imminently. At least I haven't noticed a pattern, but again, everyone's shops are different every day, so... Okay. I think I also have something to give to Nala still. Oh yeah, this flower that I never gave to her. You want some Peter Pan related stuff? I feel that. Next character is Baguette. Um, unlikely, <laughs> but that would be a surprise. Uh, more lioness statues. Did you find these in the Frosted Heights in the Glade? I did, you were here. That's right, they were all buried in the ground just like the first one, but that's not all. More of these weird rifts have opened up in other parts of the village. Oh no, do you think whatever's happening is my fault? I was the one who damaged that first statue. Um, of course not. You didn't know this would happen. Huh? I suppose you're right. Let's start with these rifts. Did anything dangerous come out of the one on Dazzle Beach while you were watching? Huh. I didn't see anything come out of it, but something did happen. Goofy came by to fish. He cast out his rod near the rift and snagged something. <laughs> then he shouted and ran off. Oh boy, sounds like I better go talk to Goofy to find out what he saw. The more I talk, the more I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Never mind. Talk to Goofy about what he saw near the mystical rift. I'm gonna stop talking. When is the star path over and such? I think like 30 something days. Oh, 20 days. We gotta get a move on. I got all the furniture, but I haven't finished it. Not even a little bit. You think June will be the next update? I think so. Todd, the eggs are used to craft the furniture that goes along with the seasonal event. So if you look in collections and if you look in like um, your crafting table, you'll see a bunch of egg items like there's one here and there's one here. And there are also a couple meals that also have eggs like this one and this one and this one. And you can make those and use those to complete the season events that are in the village dreamlike task goofy let's check his house we don't talk about hey hey i 
feel like we might need a... No, never mind. I'm going to stop before I even say that. I was going to say... I'm going to say it anyway now. I was going to say I feel like we need a hey hey emote. Just for the memes of it all. But at the same time, I feel like we don't. Can't wait until we reach the next community gift. You need new decorations. I wonder which one they're going to mention next. Or like which one we're going to hit next. Okay, Goofy. You think we'll get Vanellope, which will be fun. She's so sassy. Yeah, I mean, I think it'll be either Vanellope or Cinderella. I don't have a strong opinion. I think Vanellope is slightly more likely based on the racing description. But we've seen ca character models for both of them. So I think either is possible. You think Buzz's last alien quest could possibly be for Tinkerbell? I would be surprised. Say, I think there might be something fishy going on around here. Uh, what makes you think that? See, I was fishing down near Dazzle Beach and I saw this funny thing in the water. Right, there's some sort of mystical rift. Nala and I are trying to figure out what's going on. Yep, I saw that, but that's not all. I cast out my line near the rifty thing, and then I saw this funny fish swimming out of it. Um, did you catch it? Nuh-uh. Hmm. <laughs> it looked like truffle. Ooh. You know how lots of fish are sleek and kind of pretty? This wasn't like that at all. It had big bulging eyes coming out of the top of its head, and it was glowing real odd-like and shiny. Ooh. One look at it, and I hightailed it back to the meadow. Ooh. I didn't want to lose another fishing rod trying to catch it. I'm on my fifth one this week. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge said he's going to have to start ordering them in bulk. Just leave this whole fishy situation to me. I'll try catching the weird fish near the rift. Oh, well, I'm not going to be able to do that, right? Because, listen, Nala. Actually, you can still hang out with me for now. That's fine. Um... Doesn't this have to be at night? 20 days already, right, fangirl? I feel like that's flown by. You managed to get your hands on another one of the bonkers ultra-wide displays. You're in speedstorm heaven right now? Wait. Like the setup that you showed me before? I'm jealous. I feel like I also maybe need updated photos now. Okay. I think it has to be nighttime, right? I did get the Ferris wheel, Todd. We're actually going to pull that stuff out in just a minute after I just look over here just to be sure. Oh, no. I think I can catch it now. Because we're going to start decorating in the plaza. Of course, it started raining right now, so hopefully it'll stop. Nope. Third time? Maybe. You have to go pick up your daughter from school. Thank you for coming, Taki. I hope you have a great rest of your day. You think maybe we'll get Cinderella kind of like we did with Donald? So when the pumpkin house becomes available, we'll get a quest to find her or something? Maybe. Whoa! <laughs> Why does it look like that? Weird fish. Hey, Nala. I found a weird fish. Ugh, what is that? And why is it glowing? It's some kind of fish that swam out of the rift. Um, it might be the key to solving this. I hope so. All of this, the rifts, the glowing fish, the strange statues. It's not like anything I've had to deal with before. I know one person who might have some idea of what's going on. We're dealing with strange sea creatures and dark magic. This is a job for Ursula. I'm still wearing this mustache. <laughs> Ursula seems to only care about what's best for Ursula. Do you really think she'll help us? Mm. She'll help. The whole valley might be in danger. That's true. It is her best in her best interest to help us. Even Scar wouldn't want the whole valley to get pulled into one of those rifts. Uh -huh. Well, I suppose you should lead the way. Let's go talk to Ursula. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. We can fish at any time, though. I guess that one. Maybe I was just thinking of the here and there fish in general. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Have I heard Hallie's version of part of her world from the live action? Um, I haven't. Here's the thing. I saw the teaser trailer and I've watched absolutely nothing else about it because I have a thing about, I don't know, trying to go into things with as little information as possible. But I'm sure she absolutely slayed because in my opinion, Hallie Bailey can do no wrong. Okay, hello? 
Oh yes, give these to Ursula. You're actually convinced they might start dropping spoilers on the day the Hello star path here. ends? You never know. I'm sure they might even start before then. My, my, angelfish, what's all this? You might have noticed some weird magical stuff going on around here. Nala and I found these mystical rifts that opened up in the water, and then that fish swam out. Have you ever seen anything like it? It doesn't look like any fish I've ever seen, and I've seen them all. Let me take a closer look. Gah, the fish... <laughs> Not gah. The fish disappeared right out of my hands. But I got enough of a look at it to tell you where it's from. And since I'm so generous, perhaps I'll even tell you without asking anything in trade. Um, I'd trade you my gratitude. <laughs> Hardly as valuable as what I'm about to tell you, but that's fine. You'll be in my debt. This fish comes from the here and there. I went to the here and there to get the orb of trust back, but I didn't see any fish like this. You may have visited, but you merely went as deep as sea foam skimming the ocean surface. This fish came from somewhere much deeper in the here and there than that. Like where Minnie went when she disappeared? Aha, now you're getting it. It seems you and Nala have done something to rip open the walls between, well, between the here and there. What about those lioness statues I showed you? What? If I'm not mistaken, this has happened before, long ago. Those statues must have been part of some enchantment to seal the rifts. But now that you've disturbed them... Oh no, we ruined it? The enchantment is broken. Oh. Poor Nala. She was supposed to be the protector of this valley, but now she might lead to its destruction. All because of one clumsy little mistake. Um, it's not Nala's fault. I'm the one who dug it up. No, of course not. This magic isn't something a lion should be meddling in. At least you're wise enough to know to come to me. Now, if we don't fix this soon, who knows what else might leak into the village. I'll need some time to figure out how to shut them for good. I'm afraid that the in these matters, time is the one thing that can't be bargained for. Now scram! Oh. I will. I'll scram. Good night, Sharon. Thank you so much for coming. Um, Ursula will help us figure out how to close the rifts once and for all. I just hope we can do it before anything worse starts coming through them. If anything bigger comes through those rifts, I'll be there to fight it off. Um, uh, I'm not going to be there. I'll cheer you on from a safe distance. I wouldn't want you to put yourself in danger for this. It was my mistake. Hmm. All I want to do is keep the valley safe and make sure everyone has enough food. Oh. I just hope we can stop this before it's too late. We can try, homie. You're looking forward to the new Peter Pan and Wendy? Yes, that's also next month, isn't it? Okay, Nala, take this. A gift, thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, we should go check out this wallpaper and then hopefully we'll come out of our house and the rain will be no more. If it's still raining, we can try to make do with a bit thank of decorating you. anyway. 57 likes, amazing. Thank you so much. If you haven't liked the stream and you're hanging out because there are so many of you, it would be lovely and so helpful to the channel if you would press the like button. Oh, the valley is coming along. I feel like I'll trade you for my gratitude is one of the most me things that's been said in this game. I feel like regularly I'll be talking to like my sister or um, my partner or something and I'll ask them to do a favor and I'll be like, <laughs> and they're like, no, I'm not getting anything from this. And I'll be like, I'll give you my love and adoration. They're like, no, <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, it's so vibrant. Wait, this is really well done. I'm a big fan of this. What are everybody's thoughts on this wallpaper? I think it's amazing. The now scram at the end. <laughs> 
breakdown. I feel like that's so good. I love the now scram. It really hits me in my spirit anytime I hear it. This is so pretty. I now kind of want to redo my flower room around this wallpaper. But that's for another day. Wait, what was that? Oh, I got this in my shop also. This is cute. This monochromatic Mighty Jungle wallpaper. I also, I've gotten kind of a lot of wallpapers lately. These ones are new for me. Um, this one. And this one, which I really like. I might put this one up in my flower room for now. And these ones. Yeah, it's been like a good week or two of wallpapers for me. So colorful, right? Yes. It's really pretty. It's giving underwater plants, but on land and a jungle. I could see that. I don't think it'll suit what we have going on right now. Not really. But maybe in the future we could kind of tweak it a little bit. I'm gonna do those though. It's interesting, the monochrome one. Yeah, I don't think I had ever seen it before. I need to change. You die over jungle vibes. It's so good. Okay. Change back into your Monster Sink outfit. May I take off the facial hair? Yes. Okay, that's nice. May I put back on the jacket? I may. Okay, cool. Oh, and the other shoes that I was wearing, because those were also cute. Do we have any green shoes? Green boots? Green boots work. You need the monochromatic one? Your love of plants and all things black is screaming. Amazing. You love the blue mermaid one? Did I buy that or unlock it with quests? I just got it in Scrooge's shop. It just showed up randomly one day. You're starting to believe Scrooge doesn't like me? That's how I feel, too can match it with the glowing coral stuff from the Little Mermaid collection. Yes. It would look good, I think. Okay. Let me also make sure... Oh, you know what I should do? Give me a minute to actually clean up the plaza. So we're working. I mean, uh, let me pick that up last because the wood respawns super quickly. Although I guess if I just pick up the trees, it won't be an issue. But I especially want to make sure I get the dig spots because we can't really build around those. Let's see. When do I think the official game, like the full game release, is going to be? I feel like it will probably be towards the latter half of the year like maybe closer to the one year mark after early access but that's just like my intuition it's not at all based off of anything that the team has said they've kind of been really hush hush about full release so i don't know what theme am i going for in the plaza i'm thinking about doing my park in the plaza but it's really just gonna depend on a lot of factors. <laughs> it's gonna depend on things. Um, Cause I really wanna leave the buildings where they are. So it'll just depend on how everything else can be fit around the buildings being in the center, I suppose. If you buy everything in the store every day, Scrooge gives new stuff next time you shop. That's not true. There have definitely been days when I bought everything and Scrooge did not give me new things the next day.
Okay, let's remove these trees. So hopefully we don't get any wood drops. You just got home to a whiny kitty. Oh my goodness. Well, hello to your cat, Maple. Let me move this down here. Okay. Um, I also have a list on my phone. Oops. Of all of the potential things that I would want um, in a park. So let me pull that up quickly. Mm hmm. Yes, we did that. Uh, Star Path items, Woody's house, the giant Pixar ball and the giant blocks, some of the Toy Story and Wreck It Ralph items potentially. Um, okay, okay, okay. All right. You kept those buildings in the middle of your plaza as the main street of your Disney park. Yeah, that's the vibe I was going for as well. Um, let's try to look under Disney. Hopefully the items will be here. Okay. I'm going to want one of these. I'm going to want lots of balloons. Maybe I should leave the balloons for now. Hmm. I mean, the strategy is usually to like pull out everything at once and we're going to do a modified version of that. But because all of these items are so giant, I feel like maybe we shouldn't pull out absolutely everything at once. And we should instead maybe just bring out some of the larger items and then bring out the other ones later. Does that make sense? Let's see. You wonder if full release will happen around Thanksgiving or Christmas. I don't know. No idea. Most people aren't level 10 yet, so that's going to be a bit. Wait, for what? Have I finished all of the quests? I haven't. I... Oh, wait. I'm going to pause for a second. Let me go pick up Buzz's quest, because if I don't do it now, I really won't remember. I've been trying to remember for the last hour since we started stream. So if I don't do it now, I won't. Hi, Mickey. How are you? Back from your meeting. Welcome back. There's been times you didn't buy anything, and the next day you bought the whole store out. It's very hit or miss. Yeah, it's just, I think, pure random pure random you finally got into a good streak with Scrooge don't say that your luck's gonna turn for the worst um just who I was hoping to see I'm afraid the aliens have outgrown their home in the claw game would it be possible to make them their own outpost somewhere in the valley an outpost in the valley like decorate it for them precisely I'd make suggestions but this is really more of your area of expertise Hmm, a space in the village just for the aliens. I guess I could make it chic and retro, weird and funky. Chic and retro. I'm sure whatever you do will be more than adequate. You've got style, my friend. Why don't you take one of these little fellas along with you? Anything else you need? I'm sure you'll be able to order from the local vendor, Scrooge McDuck. New alien toy. Oh, cool. Wait, what is this? Oh, it wants us to play stuff. Okay, I'm not going to do that now, but I just wanted to pick it up. But I do want to look at the alien toy. I don't need to do this. That's not what I was trying to do. I was just trying to untrack this. It can be a bit overwhelming to decorate sometimes. I agree. In this game, every time you start redecorating, you feel better and better about your valley. That's great. You're inspired when you heard that Walt used to live where the construction was to oversee everything going on while Disney World was built. Nice. Okay, also, I'm just now opening my tea in case anybody wanted a tea time update. You put the teacups in the sunlit bateau and the Ferris wheel in the forest and the Dumbo ride on the beach. Oh, cool. You're just here being personally victimized by Scrooge's shop. I mean, that's kind of been me. I've a little bit lucked out with wallpapers, but wallpapers don't count towards the collection. Oh, let me just, I'm so sorry. I just don't want these showing up the entire time that we're decorating. So let me just, wait, how many of each thing do I need to put down? I don't know. Oh, there they are. Oh my! <laughs> okay. 
Oh no. Oh no, what have I done? That's fine. We will adjust. It's okay, we'll overcome. Uh, Rebecca, I don't think there are new characters coming Friday to this game. Um, in Disney Speedstorm, there's an event on Friday where you can get Figment. But that's a different game. Okay, maybe more of these or rugs and chairs. And couches and such. Did that do it? Okay, yeah. Okay, good. So those should stop showing up now. You chose cozy and fun. I don't think it really impacts what you're able to do. I think it just wants you to pick one. So we can decorate. Maybe we can make a place for the aliens here. Okay. So many things to contemplate layout wise. What do I want to do first? Let me grab some paths. And we'll try to put some stuff over here. You want some tea now? Do it. Okay. Just got back from camping. Hi, Autumn. How are you? Okay. Brick road. Here's the thing. I a little bit hate... Hmm. That these buildings are so far back. Because it's going to make things difficult with hmm I don't know making it look good against this railing I guess but we'll figure it out you've been meaning to play Disney Dreamlight Valley you should reverb it's fantastic okay but I do want to have, I think I want to have this whole area paved. Oh, you know what we should maybe try to bring out? Um, that, I think somebody might have mentioned this on the last stream as well. The uh, uh, statue with Mickey and Minnie and Donald. Actually, I think in the last stream people were talking about having that over by Mickey and Minnie and Goofy's house. But I might be able to put it here. Mm. Oh no. Let's see. Good night, Yana. Thank you for coming to the stream. You're contemplating your neighborhood in the forest, not quite sure what you want, even though you can kind of visualize it. Your plaza is going to be just relaxed and chill area now. That's nice. I feel like sometimes it can be difficult. Like this stream, I'm sure we're going to have a lot of me just like trying a bunch of things because it takes me a while sometimes to actually figure out exactly what I want in an area. You got burnt out and stopped playing for a bit, but you forgot how to pick the oregano and things like that. Um, you can't do it in furniture mode. If you just go, like, walk over to it, you can just click the interact button and you'll pick it up. But yeah, you can't move the spices in... Oh, I want these, but I'll find those later. I need to focus on a couple things at a time. Oh, this would be so cute. But we're not going to be able to find a place for this. I don't think. Let me just pop it. Listen, I know I said I wasn't going to do this. But I'm doing it anyway. Um, I'm just popping those there for now. I kind of want to use them. Um, I want to use a bunch of these flower planters, but I don't need to do that now. Can I send the video I mentioned yesterday that was full of speedstorm tips? Wait, did I mention a video yesterday that was full of speedstorm tips? 
Did I? I don't think I've watched any videos about speedstorm tips. Maybe we could have like this here. But if I did say something about that, if you give me additional information and I can remember, I absolutely will. Today's been wild at work and you are exhausted. I'm sorry. You use the statue, at least until they give us the Walt and Mickey one, right? The Walt and Mickey one would be perfect here. Um, it would be absolutely perfect. It would also be nice to have like benches here if we do use this. They're kind of close to the buildings, but I don't know if that's a problem or not. I'm just gonna place a couple of these. I don't know. No, let me just let me just put those and then stop stop getting overly overly enthused. I would love to make like a little theater area, but I feel like I might make that in the meadow. Let me just plop a couple things here just to remind myself that I might make this. And by a couple, I mean literally everything that we have um, to remind myself that I might make this here in the future. Okay. You put your theme park in the forest by Elsa's cave. Nice. You're going to start playing Speedstorm today. Oh my goodness. Let me know how you enjoy it, how you feel about it. Okay, I think, yeah, some sort of, like, center statue entrance area thing there could be super cute with this. And I kind of want the pathing to come all the way down here and around. I think that would be very cute as well. And then it can go wherever. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry you're also being serenaded today with the clickety clacks. You watched a video about Speedstorm yesterday from a great YouTuber. Maybe you've heard of her. Her handle is Tinker Lily. I do have a couple videos. Not like super intense tips and tricks or anything, but I have one about like leveling your racers. That one's nice, nice. Um, I've got a couple in the works about the Golden Pass and about, um, what's the other one about? Crew system, the crew system. Um, those ones are almost done. I was going to upload one of them today, but then we got that news about, um, the community event. I'm going to move this one one more. So this can be... Wait, what? Eh? It's not going to be centered with the building, but that's okay. Something like that, maybe. There, it's close enough. Close enough. It's giving Main Street USA. That's what I'm going for, fangirl. Looks really good. Thank you. I mean, it's going to be a work in progress. So we're going to, like, flesh everything out and make it look nice and decorated and beautiful, hopefully. But for now, we've just kind of got to figure a layout out, I guess. Um, let me grab my phone again. You know you can craft a pink stove. Do they have pink fridges in the game? They do. I think I have a pink fridge, but you have to get it from Scrooge, I think. Serenade with the clickety click of the keyboard. Um, okay. All right, let me pull out a couple other items. I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but I think actually functionally it's going to help, not just because I like having a bunch of things out when I'm decorating. I think I should actually look at all of the items that I have that I'm thinking about using. It might be cute to have like a little Toy Story area that has these chairs. That might be cute. We pulled that out. Maybe the alien thing. Listen, Toy Story Land in um, Hollywood Studios is one of my favorite things about Disney World. The photo booth, cute. 
My one about the classes and how they work is really helpful. Oh, thank you so much, Michelle. That means a lot. Sometimes when I make videos that are like purely kind of educational videos, it's like I write and rewrite the script so many times that I lose any ability to tell if it's actually <laughs> helpful or not. I try to make sure that they are. So that's very nice to hear that it was helpful. Um, and then what was the other one? Oh, Wreck-It Ralph has a lot of items that I think might be good. Tickle the keyboard. <laughs> Fill your ears with click clacks. Oh my. Okay. They need to do different colors of stone. Oh wait, that was one thing I was thinking. I would like to maybe potentially use the like, um, the road with the gold and opal and gems. I think that might be cute. Okay. Potentially like a food court, but we're running out of space already. Um, I mean, running out of space in the sense that A, we haven't like actually placed anything, but also we... Wait, what am I even trying to say? You know what I mean. We're pulling out a lot of items and it's going to start getting a little wild if we keep placing a bunch of items. Um, There was another thing. I could have sworn it was from Toy Story that I didn't grab out. Oh, yes, this. That's very cute. Why do I have so many Toy Story items? I don't know. They just show up at Scrooge's sometimes. Um... Maybe, maybe this, although this is also giant. I'm going to have to move a lot of this stuff into the meadow. Ooh, these are also cute. Um, Just to like set it aside while we're actually trying to find out a layout. These are obviously adorable. And I like using the picnic tables. I don't know if we'll be able to fit that someplace, but we can try. And what was the other... I don't think Monsters, Inc. Hi, Freya. How are you? You're pretty sure the stoves are craftable. Yes, the stoves are craftable. Um, the fridges are not, though. Hi, Linda. How are you? You haven't gotten the photo booth or the alien toy dispenser yet? Oh, no. Um, no, definitely not Monsters, Inc. Um, maybe Wreck-It... No, I already looked at Wreck-It Ralph. Wally? The bikes are really cute. We have to have a bike like outside of one of the shops or something. We have to make that work somehow. I don't know how or why or where or when, but I know we're going to make it happen. Wait, what is that song? Wait, give me one second. There's a song. I don't want to sing it because. Is that from Victoria? I don't know. There's a song I'm thinking of, but I can't. Anyway. We also have these trash cans, but I do prefer the recyclers. The recyclers are prettier. Insert grr emoji. I want the Toy Story emoji. <laughs> I mean item. <laughs> or both. Both are great. Make Stitch's rocket into a ride. I don't know if I'll make it into like a ride, like completely deck it out somewhere, but I think it would be nice to have. Also, these little bike things are kind of cute. I have so many things you don't have. Listen, I have a lot of items. I've been playing this game forever. But there are a lot of items that I've seen a lot of other people have. Oh, this chair is so cute. I got this chair, I think, yesterday in the shop. It was the only new thing I got. I feel like you're not going to be able to fully appreciate it because of the rain and stuff. But it's like tri-toned wood slats making a chair. It's so cute. I love everything about it. Hi, Brandy. How are you? You were working, but you saw I was live. Welcome. I hope work's going well. Do I have unlimited of the Opal Road once you unlock it, or is it craftable? It's craftable. You're trying to learn. Sorry. No, it's not a dumb question at all, Cassie. Um, all of the craftable items, unfortunately, you have to craft each one you want, if that makes sense. You don't just have unlimited of it. Oh, yeah. Here are the pink fridges, by the way. Um, Somebody was asking about that. I'm looking for who remembers where we have um, the 
the crafting tables? Or are they just under all and we have to filter and find them? You put the rocket next to Scrooge's shop. Like you get when you go to... Wait, I don't know what that is, Samantha. Oh, a big store. Oh, that's because it was a typo. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what's e-bog storm? Um, let me try to find a crafting table just because I do want to craft a bunch of that pathway. Oh, perfect. It's right up at the top. But I didn't want to go all the way home for it. You wish they would have left the non-rusted trash can in game? You liked that one better than the rusted one? Oh, I think it was always supposed to look like this. I think they just hadn't put... Amazing! It's sunny now. I think they just hadn't put the right like overlay or whatever on it. Enjoy Speedstorm Prib. <laughs> uh, let's see. Fencing and paving. I have a lot of gems. I'm unfortunately going to just like blow through a lot of this. I don't even... I... I'm going to stop there for now. I feel like I need to decide whether I'm actually committing to that or not before I spend all of my resources on it. Oh, they're under tables. Really? I didn't know that. But thank you for the input, friends. You got a new table today from Scrooge, Wally's tractor table. I don't think I've seen that. Oh, you know what I really want, though? Wally's, like, bathtub that's full of the foliage that has the boards on top. He's got it in his house, um, but you can also get it from Scrooge to put in your, like, house or decorations or whatever house or decorations anyway um you can also get it but i don't have it oh you know what i was thinking of that i don't know whether it's a cute idea or not i was wondering about having a gazebo here like a little gazebo walkway you can never remember where the crafting tables are. Yeah, I don't use them enough, so I never remember either. Oh, also, these might be cute to have somewhere. Uh, where's the other one? This one. Gazebo. Ooh, these also might be cute. I've seen people put these in front of Scrooge's shop before. Oh, you can't put them very close, though. I don't think it's worth it. I'll just leave the empty windows. If I could put them closer, I would put it there, but you cannot. Elasticycle? The Elasticycle with the Mr. Incredible suit. I could see having, like, a little photo op area. That would be cute. Looking for a gazebo. You have that one? Wait, you have that what? Oh, wait, you have the bathtub? I want it. You hope they make it to where we can move the ponds? That might be nice. I'm not sure. We might have to wait and see what the rest of the plaza looks like to determine whether it's a hit or a miss. But it was just something I was considering. Let's go down into, I almost call, I usually call this live mode because of the Sims. I know that's not what it is, but this is kind of a cute square. Um, I would kind of want to push these back, but I feel like I want to fill this with flowers or something. So I don't know if I will move them back or not. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Size, time to grind for the gem roads. It's a lot of resources. One tourmaline and one aquamarine per square. It's wild. 
you always use the one next to Goofy's house. You forget that you have one in your house. I never use the one. Um, well, I mean, I moved it now, but I never really used the one next to Goofy's house. You haven't gotten anything new from Scrooge's in a whole month? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. That's wild. Okay. I do like the idea of having this maybe here. That's going to be kind of a weird squeeze. It's going to be kind of distracting, though, if we have a... Well, no, it might be kind of a vibe if we have a little theater here with the pal around in the background. I can't decide whether it's vibey or too much. I am not sure. You're finally eating lunch. What's for lunch today? Let me take a drink of my tea while I contemplate our next move. Okay. Can we get an emote that says that's wild? <laughs> oh my. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be a little snug. Sorry, I sometimes get very quiet when I'm thinking, which is probably not the best. However. Oh, uh, sigh. Okay. Maybe... We do have Woody's house over here. Where's the front? Maybe we have Woody's house over here and like a little Toy Story area around it? You don't have much furniture? So your store is always enclosed, so your store is always full. You only buy things you like. I feel like I could never decide to only buy things I liked because you never know when they're going to come back or not come back. Alternatively, we could do a little Toy Story area over here since this is larger. Hmm... Let me mess around with these paths a little bit for a minute. Oops. Let's see what we're working with. No, because that's... Yeah, that's pretty narrow. Let's see. I went platinum ranked? I did! Thanks, Prib. Yeah, that was an exciting thing that happened to me last night. Um, It's with Mike, so it feels like cheating. However, I did in Speedstorm reach Platinum with my... I think I'm like MPR 18. Who would have thought? Who is she? Hmm. I don't know. I need to figure this out. You have 150 clothes and 355 furniture. How long have you been playing? You set your park up around the Sunlit Plateau Pond and you're happy with how it turned out? Oh, that sounds nice. I don't think I've really seen any parks in Sunlit Plateau. Okay. Hmm. Layout plans. Layout plans. I also have to take into account that this is where, like, this entry point is. And this is where this one is. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hey, Jules. You finally made it in. Had to run the roommate to a dentist appointment. Oh, my. Phone meeting with your girlfriend and you ate Wendy's and now you're hiding in your room. <laughs> oh, my. Happy to see you here. The stream has been super helpful. Thanks for coming, Cassie. I'm glad we were able to answer some of your questions. Okay. Hi, Lorena. Hello. Looking good. You might steal into a European-inspired street when we get Ralph's building. Yeah, wait. I'm now curious, actually, because we saw a building in the trailer. Um, the trailer. That's so not helpful. One of, like, the original trailers that looked like it might be Ralph's building, but now I'm wondering if it was actually this. Does anyone remember that from, I think it was like the original trailer for Dreamlight Valley. You could see like an apartment building. Do we remember, was that this? Thanks for the congrats, Michelle. Had pizza and salad for lunch, amazing, amazing. Bathroom stuff, nice. Bathroom reno stuff, I should say. Feel like you're a bad builder, you can't do this. I, you know what, I feel like building is just trial and error. It's just being able to like commit to things looking kind of bad until you find something that doesn't look so bad. I definitely have a hard time with it still. Okay, I think... What do I think? Let me move a bunch of this stuff over here, which I know isn't going to help literally anything because there's still going to be cluttered stuff everywhere. However, I want to kind of move these two spinning rides around and see about how I'm thinking about setting these up. Because it would also be kind of cute to have a little seating area for Shea Remy's. But I feel like that's not like a necessity. I also, actually, here's the thing. I love these uh, small world pillars, but I'm not sure if or where I'll be able to use them. Yes, that building. Oh, wait, what? It was Ralph's and not that one. Okay, okay. I haven't looked at it in a while. I just remember seeing like a little bit of an apartment building and I think it was also brick. So then I was like, wait, was it this building? I don't know. I'll have to look back at that. Hi, Melanie. How are you? The apartment looked a lot like the one we just got, but not exactly. Interesting. I, hmm. Oh, Lorena, I'm glad you were gifted a membership. That's sweet. Okay. Hmm. You saw someone do a boardwalk with the amusement park items. I'm sure that was really, really cute. I could see that being very adorable. This is bringing me back to the last time we decorated the plaza, which I also remember being quite the adventure, shall we say. Do I want these close to each other? Maybe. Will it annoy me if I put like bushes in between here and I'm not able to run between them? I'm not sure. You might make an amusement park area with your extra rides. That would be cute. You use the small world pillars near your Ferris wheel. Nice. Rewatch the trailer. It's slightly different. The bottom is a different color brick, but very similar. I wonder if they just reskinned it. You're here just washing ditch dishes. You'll be in the stream in a few. No worries. Okay. And maybe we could do like... There are too many things, and they're all so pretty. <laughs> I just want to use all of them, but I don't think I have the space. I also have to remember I have a mining node over there. Hmm.
I don't know. We're just trying things. If we hate it, we hate it. What if we tried to do like a little cart shop food court sort of situation over here? We could put this and not that. And like this maybe and like a picnic table or something. We could do that over there maybe. This might be cute if we did a theater somewhere down there. I now feel like I need to rethink everything. You would separate them and do a path with bushes around the path. I don't think I 100% can picture what you're saying. You're doing good. You're going to play a little bit before bed. You like hanging out while running around in your valley. Yes, I love doing that too with other people's streams. I like it a lot. Hmm. Okay, let me... I feel like maybe if I could get some path situation set up that I was happy with, that would maybe help me figure out what exactly I want to do. Wait, is that as close as I can get to this? You love how it looks? You wish you could decorate that good? Listen. <laughs> I'm sure you decorate beautifully. And also... This is like... Me before making revisions to things. Maybe I need to bring this there, yeah, and then delete this one. And then bring this out more this way. I don't know. Bear with me, friends. I'm just gonna be plopping stuff and unplopping stuff until I find something that I'm happy with, I think. Can this move closer? It can. Ooh! Actually, that's a good reminder for me to pop out of this. Please don't freeze forever. Um. Egg! Follow this around. This doesn't feel like... I mean, it's snug, but I feel like it's fine. We could do stuff over here that's not going to look like this. around this way I might have to move this a little bit so this path can continue hmm then maybe we could do just like one or two tables under here that we could say belong to Shay Remy maybe do we have like fence fence might be weird to put there wouldn't it it might. I don't know. Put them close, but do a path and line the path with bushes and leave an opening and connect the path. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to be able to understand what that is. But also, I don't think I'm going to have space to put them that far apart. At first, I thought that was a bug. Oh, my goodness. The way I thought there was a beetle just crawling around the valley and it made me so unhappy to just think about that. Let me grab out... Nope, that's not what I wanted at all. We have two Melanies here. Amazing. Make sure I save every few minutes. I know, I need to be a little bit better about that. Uh, bushes. Mm. It would be nice if I could, like... Oh, 
I'm gonna move a bunch of this stuff around, I'm sure. But it would be nice if I could fit these bushes. Do I like these ones? Or all of them? Let me just grab a bunch of these out and place them in the meadow. And I can then pick them up. I hate that the fog rolled in, though. This game really is not that happy with me right now. And it's telling me that it's not very happy with me right now. Just so I don't have to keep coming back into the menu every time I want to grab one of these. Maybe if it keeps being super foggy, we'll take a break. We usually take like a mid-decorating hiatus anyway to give my brain some time to like actually figure out what it wants to do again. It might be time for that. I can't decorate in this fog. Let's grab Nala and run around a little bit. Try to level her up a bit. Screwed shop, that's the way it's been working with you. As long as you buy out the store daily, you get at least one new item. That's nice. Maintenance just turned off your power to check the breaker and now your Wi-Fi is all loopy. Oh no. Remember that time a few weeks ago or like a couple months ago where I had all of those issues with my power? That was wild. So I can definitely empathize with your power Hi. being wonky. Um, okay, Nala, come hang out with me. I suppose we can do some fishing. You hope they put more animated things like butterflies in the game. It makes it feel more real. I agree. It does make it feel more real. How? Where? Where am I supposed to be reach this from? Not there. I think the other side, maybe. Not the other side is in the other side completely. I mean, like here. No. Maybe here where Nala's standing? Like here? No. Maybe over here? Um, listen. You all see this, right? There's nowhere I can fish that will reach this. No. Well, maybe here. Wait, is it here? Maybe if we turn a little bit more to the side. The glare! I can't see which way I'm facing! There. Also, I'm bad at aiming, so I mean, I can't really use the glare as I... Oh my goodness. What about here? I feel like it's gotta be here. Which house skin would I love to get? You want the up house? Oh, like which one? Um, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay. I don't know if there's a specific like character's house that I want because for the most part, any like really iconic character houses, I would just rather have that character in the game than have my house look like their house. And I don't want both of our houses to look like their house because that's gauche. But. Um, what would I like? I don't know. There's not really a house skin that I can think of off the top of my head that I really want. And I've probably felt like that since the first time. Like, I knew a lot of people wanted a castle or a palace. I thought that would have been really nice. Um, I really wanted a cottage. And we got both of those right off the bat. But the other two that we've gotten, I also really like. I would like to see, like, a slightly different style cottage, I think. That would be nice. You hate fishing in that spot. It was so difficult. You're going to bed. Good night, Samantha. Thank you for coming. You remember this is a spot that you keep trying, uh, to get to before? 
you can get it, but there's a sweet spot. Yeah, it's like only that one spot that you can reach it. It's wild. You want a house skin like Cinderella's carriage? Ooh, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, I'm interested to see, like, okay, that's one thing I'm interested in because, for instance, characters that we have confirmed, um, these aren't the only ones we have confirmed, but just for the sake of this ramble I'm about to go on, we have Cinderella confirmed, we have, um, Belle confirmed, we have Sully confirmed, right? And we just got a house skin of Mike and Sully's apartment. So where's Sully gonna live? If we ha have a house skin of his apartment, right? Like, what's his house gonna look like? The cottage that we have, people were saying they think it's just like a slight reskin of the cottage on the game art, which some people were thinking belonged to Gaston. Like, if he's coming to the game, where, he where is he gonna live? Or like... Cinderella, we got her castle, so where's she gonna live? You know? You would love a spooky house skin version for Halloween? Yeah, that would be cool. Like a haunted mansion house skin or something? That would be really cool because, I mean... Haunted Mansion is a ride, and yeah, there's a movie, but the characters aren't, like, memorable enough. Um that I think we would get the characters. If that makes sense. That sounds mean. I don't mean it in a mean way. I learned things don't always go as planned. And that's okay. But like, I don't want my house to be Mike and Sully's apartment and then Mike and Sully to get into the game and then also to live in the apartment. Does that make sense? Gaston can live in the trap. <laughs> he can have one of the magical recyclers. 79 likes. Thank you for the 79 likes on the stream. Um, I wonder if we could reach 100 likes by the end of the stream. That would be really cool. I don't think I've ever reached 100 likes on a stream before. I can't guarantee that to be true, but I feel like I haven't. Thanks for helping, Nala. I feel like fishing takes forever to level people up. The valley will most likely be expanded. It's not necessarily space. It's more like design that I'm curious about. You wonder if within the castle, one of those gated side rooms would be for Cinderella? Maybe. Okay, it's sunny again. I'll probably fish here and fish on the beach. And then once I'm done fishing on the beach, I'll go and decorate some more. I was about to say, I'll probably like level up Nala in different ways besides fishing with her, but this is probably the only time I fished in the game in ages because I just don't really enjoy it very much. So I should probably just level her up while fishing. You'd go crazy for the Haunted Mansion wallpaper, yes. The aesthetics of Haunted Mansion are just pristine. Maybe they want us to run a boarding house? No! I'm responsible for everything within this valley. The last thing I want to do is have the villagers move in with me. Except for Belle. Belle can move in with me. We'd be besties. Oh no! There we go. Like for Snow White, give her the dwarf cottage. Yeah, that would be cute. You'd love to see Treasure Planet added to the game. I know a lot of people have said that. I feel like Treasure Planet is one of those movies that like actually has a pretty large fan base, but Disney just doesn't really acknowledge ever. Like Atlantis and the Black Cauldron, which are two of my faves.
It's not raining anymore, yay. I know. Yeah, it stopped raining a while ago, but then it was really foggy. But I'm just going to finish fishing on the beach, and then I'm going to go back to decorating. Mike and Sully will live in our apartment, of course. No, <laughs> no, I won't allow it. Haunted mansion house, wallpaper, and paintings. You need them. Yes, I agree. I do, too. You would love a skin to change the restaurant to Tiana's restaurant. Yes. Well, I feel like actually justice for Tiana because she needs her own restaurant. When she comes to the game. I'm saying when because I won't accept not having Tiana in the game. It's a requirement. Give it about a year or so. And if we don't have Tiana in about a year, I'm going to start a petition. I expect you all to sign it. Meet the Robinsons. I just recently watched Meet the Robinsons for the first time. I liked it a lot. Emperor's New Groove is also so underrated. I disagree. I feel like Emperor's New Groove gets a lot of respect. A lot of people talk about it. Tarzan deserves some love too. Tarzan is great and has arguably one of the best Disney soundtracks. Okay. Nala, thanks for hanging out. I will talk to you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. You wonder if I can go a Disney Dreamlight Valley stream without mentioning Atlantis. No, I can't. I refuse to. Even if I could, why would I want to? You love decorating while watching my stream. You always wait for me to be live to start building. That is so sweet. That's very, very sweet. Okay, where is the entrance here? Can I move you? Are you movable? Why aren't you movable? That's wild. You're not in the rocks. No, not you. You. I'm side eyeing this piece of bracken in particular. Riot for Tiana, yes. Um, you know what? I feel like... No, I do need a pathway coming this way. I don't know if this is for sure going to be where we try to have the ride. Entrance. But I do know we should have a pathway coming this way. It would only be right to give us a way to head to the meadow. Phil Collins for the win. Yeah, I think somebody told me on stream once, if you were this person, it's okay. We can still be friends. But somebody told me on stream once that they hated the music from Tarzan. And I just like, my brain can't comprehend that. I really don't get it. I really don't. You've wanted to kill that one for so long. Wait, this piece of bracken? Why can't we move it? There's no reason it needs to be there. No reason whatsoever. What am I doing? Why am I here? Question. I should probably... No, I was trying to do... Nah, we'll just... We'll just do this this way instead. Time to nap and watch. <laughs> I hope you have a good nap, Darth Stoned. Um, it doesn't move you've tried. Oh my. Throw me another 10 likes <laughs> so you can go to bed knowing I hit 100. Oh, that's so sweet. We're close, even if we don't. No worries. It would just be kind of fun. Um. Tarzan soundtrack can never be hated. What? Who hates Phil Collins? I think they said they didn't hate Phil Collins. They just didn't like the Tarzan soundtrack. But I'm still kind of like, hmm. Hmm. Oh, no. I'm going to hate that for the rest of eternity. I might. 
I might be able to overlook it. We'll see. I'm not sure. I need to see more in order to know for sure. Not making you want to go to Disney World instead of Disneyland. I mean, I've never been to Disneyland, so I can't really speak to that experience. But I can speak to the fact that Disney World is phenomenal. It's lovely. It's so good. This is a lot of bushes. I feel like I don't need this many bushes. That's also going to make me mad. Did I move you? Did I move you? I don't know. Why are you there? Did I move all of you? Yeah, that's the answer. Move all of you. That's too much. I haven't decided whether I like this or hate this or not. Well, it's one of those two, but I haven't decided which one. Tarzan and Brother Bear soundtracks are chef's kiss. I agree. Um, on the Tarzan debate, some people hate it because of it breaking up the Disney renaissance pretty much. It was a big shift. It was a big shift in the type of movies that they made, but... I don't know. I feel like the movie itself is a different discussion to the soundtrack, though. But also, I feel like the movie is great. But I might be a little bit biased because I do... I think I hate this. We're coming back to this later. Um, I really like Jane because I feel like Belle is like the nerdy girl's princess, right? And then Jane is like... If Belle weren't a princess. Does that make sense? Hmm. Food court vibes. I'm reaching my point of designer's block. You leave. You leave. This oregano needs to leave. Um, you wish I could edit the valley like you can Animal Crossing. Oh, I got you, got you. I haven't played much Animal Crossing, so I am not super familiar with all of the different things that you can do with designing and such. But anything that would let me get rid of that piece of bracken, I would appreciate. Just joining in, welcome, Nora. You remember one time when you lived with your brother, you were listening to Phil Collins while taking a bath. Your brother came home and yelled, are you listening to Phil Collins while taking a bath? That's amazing. I love that. We love siblings who understand us as humans, right? And accept us the way they are, or the way we are, even if they make fun of us for it. Wait, was that even that? No, that's the forest. You watched Encanto recently and you loved it so much. What were my thoughts on the movie? I love it. It's one of probably my favorite Disney movies. I think it's so well done. Great movie. Great message. Um, great music. I'm biased about the music, though, because I think anything that Lin-Manuel Miranda does is great. I know some people don't share that opinion. But I do. I put this here. Here? Next to this bench? Is it weird to have it next to a bench? I don't know. I'll move it later. You have a question? Can I drive? If so, have I ever driven on a roundabout? You've only ever seen one roundabout in the US and it seemed like no one knew how to use it. I can, or I've driven in the past. I can drive. I try to avoid it. I don't like it very much. I have driven in a roundabout. Um, a couple of cities that I've lived in used frequent roundabouts, although I know they're not very common in the U.S. But in those couple of places that I lived, they were common. Um, yeah, I don't have issues with them. 
The movie itself versus the soundtrack is kind of a rough sell in your honest opinion since the whole it not being character singing opera style is kind of the biggest part of the shift. That's true. I feel like also just like, I don't know, plot wise and storytelling wise, they also made some pretty like unique choices in the movie. Bike, 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 bike. Belle made it okay for you to love books so much. You had a Disney princess who was like you, so it was awesome, and she was your first Disney princess. Yeah, Belle was my first favorite. Oh my goodness, my belly is growling. Oops. Camera flying around. To you, Jane is the Indiana Jones girl version. You all thought you wanted to be if, <laughs> if we were an adventure kid. That makes sense. The trash song is so good. Yeah, trashing the camp. You like Tarzan and the soundtrack, and the song um, is Phil Collins' best song. Oh, you'll be my heart. Yes, yes, yes. Who am I shading about? Wait, what did I shade? You bothered your father for it all of the time in the shop, and he said no. It was so sad. You went home and cried. Oh no. Okay, Harry Belafont. No, I don't think I know who that is, Jules. At least not just by the name. I might be familiar with, like, their work. Hmm. You love Lin-Manuel Miranda? He's so talented and yet so humble with his work. He's very talented. Giving us hits like Bring It On The Musical, his mind. Um. I need to do something with this. Encanto is great, but you wish they treated Mirabelle better. Yeah, that's the point, though. Roundabouts are newer to the Midwest. Six more likes. Six more likes so Prib can sleep. <laughs> oh, goodness. Not saying the soundtrack is bad at all. I know. I get what you're saying, Prib. You want fries? Wait, Mickey, why did you say that? Because now I want fries. Where can you go? Where can you go? Maybe here. I don't know. Here? Why? Maybe... Wait, what was I going for? Hmm... In Swindon, there's five interconnected roundabouts. Oh my. You're done cleaning the kitchen? Congrats. Okay. This area in particular, I need to figure out. I feel like... What do I feel like? I feel like potentially all of this stuff could be in this area. And this could be moved over here. Uh, I'm not sure, though. I feel like I would like that. Oh my goodness, we reached over 100 likes, I think. Thank you, friends. I can't see how many exactly it is, but it says one ellipsis. <laughs> I think just because I have my um, YouTube like streaming page set up on my vertical vertical or well i mean technically it's vertical monitor um so everything's smushed <laughs> but i appreciate you all uh oh you're having a boy child <laughs> boy child why did i say it like that congratulations jay <laughs> i'm happy for you Goodbye, Preb. Thank you so much for being here. Sleep well. It's late. Okay. Yes. I think potentially we could add a fun... Maybe if we... We could even put, like, the photo booth over here, potentially. Like, I don't know. You're getting in line for the ride. You're waiting. You step out of line to take a photo and you lose your spot and you have to go all the way back to the end of the queue. You worked on your plaza today, too? Jelly, hello. Were you on stream? Wait, were you streaming on Twitch? Did I get a notification that you were streaming on Twitch? 
I feel like I might have seen that you were streaming on Twitch. Maybe you weren't. Maybe that was a different day. How are you doing? Your house is in Frosted Heights. Nice. You need an Alice in Wonderland Labyrinth decoration. That would be so cool. Okay. And then maybe over here, maybe I should bring this back over here. Or maybe we could have three of them. Who says we only need two? And then this over here could be like a little gaming section setup of some sort. Right? I don't know. I feel like we could make it work. With like a couple little lounge chairs or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. You wanted to see someone buy the Monsters Inc. apartment? Oh, I have it. It's here. Oh, also, I need to leave build mode for a second so that my game won't freak out. Um, It's so nice. I really like it. It's giant. I feel like it looks... I was worried that it wouldn't look well with the buildings that we have, like Scrooge's and Shea Remy's, um, because of the more industrial look of it. But I actually think it still looks good with these buildings. So yeah. I'm very happy I got it. It's not like my favorite house skin of the bunch, but functionally, I think it offers something that the others don't, which is the ability to add to like a more commercial sort of, um, like urban-esque feel, you know? Oh yes, you were on Twitch, nice. Amazing. I hope you had a good stream. Okay. Then maybe I need to grab some pathing. Remember when I made all of that path of this and I'm not even going to use it anywhere? I was so sure. Maybe I'll try to still use it under the teacups if I'm able to move the teacups over here. But I was so sure, I was like, I'm going to want to use that under the rides. And here I am, not having used it. Um, but I do want to use this. I might want to bring this all the way over here, actually. Um... Yeah. We'll see. I'll get rid of some of it if I don't like it. You just dropped your iPad screen on the floor? Oh, it's okay. Oh my goodness. I was about to have flashbacks to like all of my... Um... Like electronics that have broken. And it wasn't going to make me very happy. I don't like that you can't bring that all the way over there. It's making me sad. Okay. This might all need to come over here. I don't like paving the entire like area of a biome. I think I much prefer seeing just like wide expanses of grass versus like wide expanses of paving however i think we need to in this case in particular hopefully we can make it work apartment living hashtag nyc vibes hashtag your life yes apartment living Okay, and then let's bring this. Hmm. Let's bring this all the way this way as well. A bunch of stuff's going to change. But for now, let's bring this this way. What time is it? Oh my goodness, it's 4.15 already. Flower, you can leave. Oh 
no. I'm so sorry for all of the Switch users out there who only decorate on Switch. So very sorry. I feel like that would be very frustrating. Um, this is going to look weird here, so we're gonna just bring this... up there for now. I should still be able to run through there. iPad dropped. Please don't drop your phone on the Walmart floor. Oh no! Um, okay. Then... I feel like maybe this could go over here. Like, you know, sometimes, I mean, this is a Ferris wheel, so it's not going to apply here in this particular case. But you know how, like, sometimes you have, like, a roller coaster or something, and it's got a height requirement or whatever, um, so, like, toddlers or young kids can't go on it, so then there's just, like, a little, like, bouncy something in front of it that parents can just, like, put their toddlers on and keep them occupied while the rest of their family goes on the ride. That's what this is giving to me. Switch controls are so sensitive in this game. Yeah, I decorated on Switch a little bit and I vowed to never do it again. It was no fun. This would be a good place for another um, trash can or recycling bin, I suppose. Disney. Just right here. Next to that. I might have to bring this forward a little bit. I don't know. Might ooh, 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 ooh. It's okay. We have time to fix everything. Hmm, <laughs> can you go back here? It's not horrible. Not the greatest thing known to man, but it's not the worst thing known to man, you know? That's how I'm feeling about it all at the moment. You've done all your decorating on Switch, but you only have the game on Switch. Oh my. Have you, like, extensively decorated? Have you just kind of made small changes? Like, how much decorating have you done? Can I move all of you? Put you maybe not there, maybe there. I don't know, I have other stuff I maybe need to bring here too, actually. Let me move all of this over here. I also don't need to use every single thing that I have. That's also a fair decision to make. I can stream for another hour. <laughs> I could. I'm not doing anything like imminently after stream. Okay, let me grab, what did I need to grab? Wasn't there a piece of oregano over here ruining everything? I think so. Yes. Just stream until I fall asleep and then <laughs> stream my sleep. Oh wait, no, that actually reminds me of all of the subathons that happen. Those are mostly over on Twitch, right? Um, but literally people will stream for weeks continuously. Won't stop streaming, so they will stream themselves sleeping. That's some serious commitment. I guess I'll pick this too. And this. Imagine having to clear a crowded space in decorating mode for Mirabelle's house because you did an hour ago, not fun. Oh my goodness, yeah. I hadn't decorated Sunlit at all. And I think I still had to move a couple things around the Mirabelle's house. I think we can make this work.
And I think it may still include bushes. Listen, is it going to end up being the greatest thing that I've ever decorated? I can't promise you that. Is it going to be a thing that I've decorated? Probably. You've decorated everything, oh my goodness. All your decorating is done on Switch, you don't have a choice either. Your laptop is just not good enough to, uh, processing wise to play on your laptop. I feel that. I mean, I have not tried to put this game on my laptop, but I don't imagine that it would go very well either. I have played The Sims on my laptop and oof. Well, I haven't lately. Oh my goodness. No, <laughs> no, no, no. That would be a bad idea with all of the expansion packs and such, but it used to have a very difficult time. You know what we're definitely missing? Hidden Mickeys. Oops. Well, eh. I was about to say, I can't believe I just took that from the teacups, but I can believe I just took it from the teacups and I will still use it. Why? Why don't you want me to use you in a location? That makes sense. Why aren't you even? Okay, change of plans. We adjust slightly. in an attempt to make this even. Are we going to be able to? I don't know, I'm not confident that we are, but we will try. We will try our hardest. That's mostly even. You only have a Switch too, and you think it's easier to decorate using the arrow buttons and the joystick when you want to be precise. I've tried doing that a little bit, it worked better for me, but it still didn't work well. But I also have very minimal patience with things. So I didn't like try for a very long period of time. When I only played on the Switch, I pretty much just decided I wasn't going to decorate because I couldn't be bothered. You don't mind decorating on Switch, but you use the D-pad most of the time. Yeah. You fall asleep to books on CD and found that it has to be at least two discs long. Oh my. This is kind of cute. I might. I mean, don't get me wrong. Not all of this stuff is going to be here. Like some of this stuff I just tossed here, but some of this stuff is going to be here. And I feel like it's kind of cute. Maybe we can do a path this way. No, that's too narrow. Maybe it'll just come around this way. Good morning, Mickey. How are you? You spent two hours today working on fixing your flower storage. Oh my! How did you decide to store them? Or like arrange the flower storage? Okay. I want to take a little break from doing like the greater layout. And I want to kind of just focus on some of the details around this square area, I think, if that's okay with everybody. I'm also going to take a brief pause to take a sip of my tea. You decorated outside of Scrooge's shop on Switch, nice. Yeah, I decorated a couple things on Switch. Um, what had I decorated on Switch? Mostly, um, you know what? I don't want these. Do we have some of these that have like red and blue flowers? I think we do, right? Kind of these ones. I want some of those. Let me craft some different ones. Um, I had decorated my initial house, which I don't think I ever, <laughs> we were right up in my face. I ever showed on stream, like my initial house decoration. And I decorated, I think, my first plaza on Switch as well. 
you play The Sims on your laptop with all the expansion packs, it's fine. Oh my. Dreamlight Valley is slow as molasses. Wow. Furniture. Um... I don't know if these are actually going to be pretty, though. I want them to be pretty. Something about these just feels off. Maybe I can do these ones? I don't know. Oh, I need to make more rectangular soil areas. I probably don't need 99 of them. You set up a stall in each biome. It was four chests in by your house. Nice. Every pick you've sent of your valley is done on Switch. Oh my goodness. Let's make like... We don't need 40 of them either, do we? Let's make like 20. And then I'll do like... I'll probably make some of these just to check if I like them. Let's do like five of these. And let's do like five of these ones. There we go. And we'll check those. Okay. You're making sandwiches and halfway through discovered there's not enough cheese. No, I'm so sorry. Why am I going this way? For weeks you've been looking for Martian 25. Wait. Oh, the first mission. And you just found the last alien under the fountain in the Forgotten Lands. Oh my goodness. I'm glad you found it. You have all the packs for The Sims 4. It runs great on your PC, but Dreamlight Valley lags and crashes all the time. Wow. Yeah, my Sims 4, the loading screens on my laptop. Oof. Once you got a loading screen, you knew it was time to go make lunch. Because by the time you were done, it would probably be about five minutes until the loading screen was done. <laughs> Hi, Lola Gamer Girl. You're new here, but you've watched a some of the past lives and you love them welcome it's so nice to see you here i'm glad you could make it you got the ps5 for hogwarts legacy and you love it but you enjoy the switch because it's mobile and cozy you decorate on switch you just have to be patient and it will come patience is not my greatest strength i will say that i try sometimes but it's just so hard to be patient Oh, we're not going to be able to do that because it's not going to be even. And I'm not going to be able to do that because it's going to be silly. Okay. Well... It would look cute, though. Hi, Princess Luca. How are you? Your whole valley has been done on a controller as well as all your touch of magic designs. Oh my goodness. You all are just inspiring. <laughs> how do you do that? Could not be me. No, you. I think you're the piece that I want. Mm, you just move there for a minute. Do we just make this uneven? Maybe. I don't know. I like the red and blue because I feel like it's giving very Mickey. You know what I mean? Let me make two more of those and we'll see how we like it. Decorating on Switch requires patience. Exactly. Yeah. You moved like every house. Nice. Yeah, I really like the fact that you can just move things wherever you want for the most part. After playing stuff on PS5, it feels like everything else loads like a snail. I could imagine. I don't have a PS5, but I, I would believe that to be true. You've decorated everywhere, but you're tweaking things. 
you put part uh the park in the plaza and you're so happy with your beach you worked so hard on it that's amazing i was pretty happy with my beach but also unhappy with it it's hard to explain but i blame it all on eric's house If we do something like this, and then maybe we could put some of the, like, just naturally occurring flowers on the inside, or bushes. What do we think? Bushes, maybe? You're doing good? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. Hi, Carly. How are you? Hi, Liam. Hi. You play exclusively with your controller, but you're on Xbox. You've done all your Touch of Magic things on there, too. Nice. Hi, Queen Tiana. Okay. Bushes. I want to try that first, I think. Uh, oh, I really... Oh, my goodness. You all let me forget. I think it might have been Cassie. I think they left. But it could have been someone else. Somebody said something about the... Um, the tiny bush. And you all let me forget to, to, <laughs> to show it. This can't go anywhere. I'm offended. Wait, where was that just? There was like one spot where it kind of acted like it wanted to let me put it down, but I guess not. Mm, I really wish I could do these. I'd have to move that further though, and that's not worth it. Oh, it can go on there. That's weird. But actually, now that I'm looking at this, I feel like I need to actually um, bring this this way. So there's not that grassy layer. I think that looks better. Wait, you're not in the middle. Wait. Are you in the middle? I think so. Hi, McKenna. How are you? Thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks for streaming. Well, thank you for being here, Jasper Jack. I appreciate it. You could never do what I did. Even Animal Crossing, you just can't tear it down. You worked so hard. Yeah, I mean, I worked hard on it, but I feel like... I don't know. Overall, I don't mind changing it up. It doesn't bother me as much as I thought it was going to. It's kind of fun to decide to, like, have a new... I don't know. It's like a fresh... Um... Take on an area that you previously decorated, I guess. Where is a large one? Maybe I can do just like a blend of bushes and no, that's that one. Um, a blend of bushes and rocks. to use that color I think what color is that is that the meadow one you saw the live and you took a break from your homework amazing I hope the homework's going well um Tina you're gonna go play Dreamlight Valley and record progress oh amazing um I'm doing well Carly thanks for asking just working on this plaza It looks cute. Thanks. I mean, I'm not 100% sold, but we're gonna... We're gonna make it work. 
Did I try to get a baby bush by placing many bushes to see if they change sizes like the trees do? I did last stream. I tried a bunch of them. You'll do that with one thing, but the entire valley was huge. <laughs> but you can live vicariously through me for sure. Um, That, I mean, yes, the entire valley was a little bit of um me being a bit extra. I will freely admit that. There wasn't really a need for it, but, you know. Sometimes you just get the desire to be a little bit extra. Ugh, I don't like the rocks. I might put um, flowers in here instead. Maybe. That might be better. You like it a lot, thanks. You're working on your storage today in the valley? Nice. I actually really enjoyed the storage. Hey! No! That was so mean! Um, I really enjoyed the storage streams that I did. Well, rip. I have to find those specific bushes again. I think I mostly remember which ones they were. I think this was this one. And I believe this was this one. There we go. Now we'll save it. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Cute little square. I kind of want to put more planters in front of this, maybe. Like, in front of Remy's house. And maybe not, like, planters, but maybe I can find something to put just kind of, like, in this corner here. Maybe I can fit a bush here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hi, Sensitive. You're new, but it's so awesome watching go through the decorating phase. You just started playing, so you're in the grinding phase. Oh, that is fun then. Yeah, it's it's fun to watch somebody do, like, something that you're not quite doing yet in the game. But I'm happy that you're here. I hope you're enjoying the game so far. I think I am going to put that there. Okay. Um, but I will use a different color of planters for that. We might not finish this whole plaza today. Listen, I feel like the plaza is a big undertaking. So I think taking a couple streams to do it is not a bad thing. Hmm. Or we could put them here. Remove this. Wait, these are so cute. Why didn't I use these? Anyway, that's besides the point. I mean, it is kind of the entire point, actually, but... You know. You demoed your valley as well, and the only people who got to keep their land was Stitch and Anna. You just decorated Anna's yard and you couldn't give it up yet. Oh, I get that. I left Stitch as well. With your valley refresh, you're really trying to put the villager houses and stuff in places you didn't put them before, other than Scar. Scar stays in the dry, patchy, dead corner of your valley. I feel that. You're watching the last stream this morning, and you might have stopped before I tried this bush experiment. Oh, no worries. It's okay. You love the plaza design already? It's cute. Thank you. Business homework is never fun, but you have one year left before you graduate from uni. Congrats! Oh, you're still working on the water tower. I feel that. Um, the only thing I was kind of like running around my valley um, since the last stream, not decorating anything clearly, but kind of trying to look at a couple things and think about a couple things. And I pulled out this fountain here. I really love this fountain. I know some people have mixed feelings about it, but I feel like I decided that I do like this location for the castle. And I think it would be cool to do like a little fountain courtyard that kind of comes off of the castle but also is sort of like what you see when you first walk up the stairway here i think that would be fun and i love these trees so i want to use those everywhere for the most part i think in the frosted heights okay yeah we'll have so much room now to put this wherever we want back here for the most part i don't think this is going to end up looking too crowded like i feel like 
it's a little bit giving crowded currently, but I think it'll end up being fine. The only thing is I feel like I should probably stagger this. So that it's like. Not grass between this and this. Does that make sense? So that it's um, pathing instead. I think that looks better. Needs a tree for shade. Wait, what does? The like center area? Yeah, that's better, because I'm not going to be able to get this completely flush against that. It just won't let me, I don't think. Can I actually put these a little bit closer? I think I can, actually. Wait, that's going to be so many of these, though. Is it going to be worth it? Maybe. I might put these a lot closer. Yeah. Your sister spent all of her moonstones buying tokens in the Christmas star path. Oh no, not in the star path. I'm so sorry to your sister. That's rough. I feel like I've heard of a few people who did that, though, because they just, like, didn't really realize that you could just, I don't know, do the events or whatever the case may be. Okay, I need one of the, I think it's the meadow color of bushes. And I'm going to need another one, too, for the other side. Meadow. Hmm. It's not indoor only, you're lying to me. You need to start decorating, but you don't know where to start. That's okay. I mean, initially when I was first decorating, I didn't move things around like as much as I am now. I would find like one building and I would be like, where do I want this to be? Or like, maybe I should just decorate around it a little bit. Um, and that was really nice because I feel like it was a lot less pressure than like completely doing redoing a biome. And then kind of as I got a little bit more confident with with decorating, I was able to kind of start doing more stuff. I, these bushes are weird. I don't think I'm a fan of these bushes. I feel like I can't get them to do what I want them to do. That's sort of even. Oh no, <laughs> that's sort of even. Are these rides at Disney World? Yeah, they are. Um, The Dumbo ride is at Disney. Well, some of them are at Disney World. Some of them are at Disneyland. Um, like, the Dumbo ride is at Disney World, I think also at Disneyland. The Pal Around is only in Disneyland, as far as I'm concerned. It's not, or as far as I'm aware, it's not in Disney World. Um, and then the teacups over here are, I believe, in both. What just happened? Oh, I think the stream was fine, but my monitor just, like, briefly went black and I couldn't see the game. But I think it was still showing up in stream. You love the bushes, it looks good. Thank you. I mean, this was not originally my idea. I've seen people put these bushes around these rides before. I've seen a lot of people do it, but I do think it looks cute. 
Maybe we'll do another like recycling bin here. I feel like those are all over around Disney. You made the Frosted Heights to a Christmas theme. I've seen a lot of people do that. I usually like to keep just one area in my valley to a seasonal theme, but I do think it's also a very cute idea to have each biome or like a couple biomes set with a seasonal theme that fits. This little bit of music makes me think of As Long As There's Christmas from the Beauty and the Beast sequel. No, not you. I'm trying to grab you, I think. Yeah, that's better. Okay. We were back here kind of trying to finish this area off a little bit. Yeah, I kind of like having those there. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Hmm. Does this need to be paved here? I think yes. It does. The bushes can never be even, right? Oh my goodness. You bought tokens during the first star path, but only because you ran out of time. That makes sense. You're heading to take a nap. Thank you for coming to the stream, Adora. I hope you have a great nap. Hmm. You rode the teacup ride and the Dumbo ride. Yeah, I have two. They're so great. Oh, I can't forget the balloons. Gotta love the balloons. I feel like I'll probably end up putting balloons over here by this card as well. I don't, I'm not like sold on having this in any specific way currently, but for now that's fine. Um, should this also be up against here? Probably. No, actually it shouldn't because that will look weird because it's not on the sides. Okay. You spent... All morning, wait, no, you spent all your moonstones on Christmas Star Path 2. You had just gotten the game, so you didn't know. Oh, my. Okay. I think I've decided I like this gazebo here, but jury's still out. I do want to put some tables. Um, Maybe I can fit two tables. Why are counters under tables? Table. Table. I'm looking specifically for the ones that have... Oh, yes, these ones. The tablecloths on them. Um, seating. Thank you for coming to the stream, Christian. I hope you have a great rest of your day. You're going to Disneyland Paris in May. Oh my goodness. Your last time was five years ago and you're dying to ride Big Thunder Mountain. I love Big Thunder Mountain. Hmm, chairs, 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 chairs. I think I've in the past used these ones or maybe the black ones of those. This would be another time where it would be lovely to put chairs on a diagonal. These ones are also kind of nice. The green to kind of go with the green of the gazebo. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, those chairs are definitely lined up with the table. Oops. Line into outer space. Okay. 
Okay. Eh, yeah, that's fine. I was like, is it weird that somebody's back is to the walkway? A little bit, but I feel like it's fine. Um, candles. I do like these candles. I also like these candles. Maybe I'll just do one of each. Or maybe I'll see which one looks better. No, that one's giant. Let's just do um the melted ones again. Although we also have the jars, right? The jar lamps. No, let's just do the melty candles. Wait, or these? Hmm? No, we'll do the other ones. I don't know why I'm trying to mess with a good thing. Your mom just called during a call with your VP and your phone announces the call. Oh no, hopefully the park item from the community event will be smaller, therefore easier to place. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I kind of want it to be something large and exciting, but I'm also cool with it being something smaller. I think I'll be happy with pretty much anything. Okay, let's pull. I don't want to pull this whole thing back, but I do. No, I do want to pull this back. Oops, it looks a little weird, but I think it's fine. Can I don't think I can put anything under that edge of the gazebo. But I don't know for sure. Oh, I can. <gasps> Are you kidding me? I need another one of these now. Listen, I know it's a lot of flowers. Just let me just let me live my life. Um. Wait, I don't know what that is, Melanie. Those acronyms. And then you were getting off of the phone with your VP. You accidentally told her you loved her because your mom was on the brain. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know what that game is. Um, random. Random ranting. But I hope you're having a good time. Does it give too many flowers when you're walking around? I don't think so. I think it's fine. Maybe it's just because I love flowers that I think it's fine, but I think it's fine. Okay, and then I kind of been feeling like something like this out front. I don't imagine this place would have like the most polish or manicured stuff going on. I think they would probably try because they're kind of on this main strip, but I imagine it would be like an office building or like an apartment building. And they're kind of like, we're just here. <laughs> we're just here. Or maybe it's like the bottom level is like a shop or something and the top levels are like apartments or um, business spaces. I'm not going to be able to put anything in front there. Remove you. What about a bush? What about a small one? It looks good, though. Thanks. You're loving how it's turning out. Thank you. No worries, Ken, that you had to step away. Happy to have you back. Um... You're pretty small. It's, like, weird sometimes where you can or can't place things. Like, this looks like you should be able to place it one tile closer, but for some reason you can't. It's very, very odd. Very odd indeed. It's 
also odd to have a thing there. What about one of the more manicured bushes that I feel like might make sense to actually be... Oops. On a paved section of uh, paving. Yeah, that's a little better. And maybe I could just get rid of this a little bit to add as well to the effect. I mean, it makes zero difference at the end of the day, but that's fine. But then maybe I could do like one of these here. I don't know. Your VP is cool, though. And she called you back to laugh about it. Oh my goodness. The plaza looks great and original. Thank you. I mean, I'm working on it. <laughs> We're working on it. Oh my goodness, it's almost 5 o'clock. We're gonna have to end the stream soon. And pick up the plaza another day. But honestly, considering the fact that we started with um, nothing in the plaza... I feel pretty good about the amount of progress that we've made so far. I hope everybody feels the same. No, I can't do that. We can maybe do one of the other rocks or like a couple of these rocks. I just can't do that one because it doesn't look like it would be in a place like this. Does that make sense? Like these look like rocks that may have been placed intentionally. The, like, scattered rocks don't necessarily give that feeling. Do I want anything here? Maybe just, like, a couple more of these benches looking out this way. That might be kind of cute. Or maybe they're not even, like, the park benches. Like, the Disney Parks benches. Maybe they're the other benches. You're back. You didn't expect me to still be streaming. I wasn't intending to still be streaming, necessarily. I mean, I wasn't, like, against it. But I wasn't expecting to be here still. It's just happened. Or we could do the parks one. What are we feeling? Parks benches or just like regular benches? I'm kind of liking the regular bench vibe. Long stream woot. <laughs> what I did with Mickey statue is great. You're stealing that. Oh, thanks. I mean, I've definitely seen people frame things in with um, these like flower planters before. I think it's a really cute idea. Hmm. Maybe with, like, that the music stopped so abruptly, so now I'm trying to fill the space. And I don't know. Maybe we don't actually need much more than that, right? Maybe it can just be that. A little spot to just like look over the meadow. You love long streams, makes your work day better. That's great. Melanie, thank you for being here. Sleep well. Thank you so much for coming. Am I ED time? I am. EDT, yes. I am. I wish... Listen, this is making me think of The Sims 4, where you can have um, these, like, wall murals that your Sim can paint. I wish we had that so we could put, like, a little wall mural or something on here, or, like, a little graffiti something. It's a game where you run a milkshake stand. Oh, nice! I think that's fine. 
with the two benches there. I think this area is pretty much done. Oh, look at Stitch. Stitch want high goodness level. Minnie, Maybe you trapped? No, just walking I'm through the flowers. That's fine. Oh, yeah, with the flowers here now, I do like this um, gazebo a little bit better. Okay, don't know where I'm putting this exactly yet. Not there, probably. I like this square. Meeting someone like you gives me hope. Oh, I need lights, though. Oh, my goodness. How could I forget? It's going to be dark. Your interview tomorrow is an EDT time, but your uh, central time. Oh, yes, yes. We're an hour ahead. Um, Lighting. I think I'm going to use... Wait. Here's the thing. I would use these because I think they're very nice. But I almost feel like I need to use these because they're what's here. You know what I mean? And granted, this is kind of its own thing. But since it blends into this area, I do feel like I probably need to use those lights. And some trees by the stairs, maybe? Maybe. I'm not sure. If I'm going to put trees in this area here, I might just use some of the plaza trees so I still get some wood around here. Or I might do a couple trees over here by the teacups. That might be cute. I don't know. I'll have to think about trees later. Um, I think we could probably do these on the corners here. Maybe here. Uh, that would be kind of weird to have that there. Maybe that'll be it. Just on the four corners and there. Or something. Or do we even need one there? I mean, it looks kind of good here. Let's change it to nighttime and see what it looks like. They're kind of obstructing. What would it be like if... Oh, one of the flowers spawned here. That's awesome. But also, <laughs> I'm moving you. Maybe within here. I think I might like that better. In which case, sorry flower, you need to leave. But I'll have to see for sure. Like, once I get them all in here. You're really excited. It's funny they keep sending reminders and you're like, this is for Disney. You'd think I would forget. That's fair. What do we think? Do we think inside the flowers or outside of the flowers? Let me, while I'm getting people's opinions, let me change it to nighttime so we can see what it would look like. Um... When it's darker. Oh yeah, we don't need more lights than that because the buildings also light up, at least in this square area. Your dog chewed up a lot of stuff and you saw her and she slowly walked back to her room, which is your closet. Oh no, she's guilty. You think it looks better in the flower bed? Inside is better? Okay. I think inside is better, too. Oh, this is a cute square area. Wait, I love it. It makes me feel like I'm walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA. Wow, it's getting late. I mean, it's not, but I did make it darker, so that's fair. You love it, too. All oh, things. I really like it. I'm happy. <laughs> we accomplished one thing on stream today. <laughs> the central area of my plaza. 
Love, love, love. Her face was so funny. Oh my goodness. Donald is never happy, though. Can't make him happy. It looks so much better at night, but it looks cute during the day, too. Okay. Yeah, this is fine here. This whole section I'm going to deal with later. This, yeah, I don't mind just having these here. I think that's fine. They can currently look out at our, our attempt at Crittertopia. <laughs> and nothing else because there's nothing else there. Donald, you didn't need to follow me here just to throw another tantrum. I know you're unhappy, dude. Anyway, um, what else? I feel like this is asking for more flowers though. Not right up near the park bench, but maybe like here. Or actually maybe there. Can this go back here? Probably not. Oh, can. Not you. Not that. Listen, I really just want to get rid of you. Well, no. Okay. I don't know, something like that. Even Donald said, oh boy, this is the best. Did he? I mean, if Donald likes it, I'll take it. Maybe this way. I don't know. Just like that. That's fine. That's fine. You have to go. Bed is calling to you. Thank you for being here, Star. Sleep well. I hope you have a great rest of your... Well, I hope you have a great night. A lovely, wonderful night. Um, what do we think about... I need to pick up that oregano. The oregano is always in the way. I guess, what do we think about, um... Not that. I kind of want to pull this all the way here. And down this way. And I'm kind of wondering about... Ooh! Putting a fence here. You could use a nap. Honestly, it does feel like nap time. I feel that. I mean, it's not nap time for me. It's almost dinner time for me. Or, and by dinner time, I'm, I pretty much just mean figure out what's for dinner time. That might be kind of weird, though, because we don't have fencing literally anywhere else. But I feel like it also kind of makes sense. I'll think about it. I think it kind of makes sense. Is that my partner home? Probably not. I don't know. Okay. I have to figure this out, though. But I kind of do. Well, not that. And that links to that, which is kind of annoying. This could come this way. That's weird, though. Hmm. That's weird that it goes right up against the bushes. But maybe, maybe we can make this work somehow in a way that's not totally odd. It also doesn't need to be solved today because, you know, it just doesn't. I just feel like there needs to be some sort of way. I mean, there doesn't. 
need to be a way to get from here around to here, but it would make a little bit of sense. Where am I from? Um, I'm from the US. Like where within the US? Kind of everywhere. Been all over the place. Okay, I want to move this further in here. And I think maybe I kind of want to put fencing here as well. I'm not sure. Let me check. Kind of do. Can I do this here instead? No. What if I move this over a little bit more? I mean, I'm going to have the same thing that I did before. Okay. So move this back here and this way. Don't want to dox myself. No, I mean, I am from kind of like, I mean, I've lived so many places in the US. It's not like I really don't want to dox myself. I mean, I ideally don't want to, but also I feel like sometimes I say things that a little bit give it away. So it's not like, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if people know where I, I, like, around where I live. Okay. I need to remove you for now. Just for a minute while I do this. And then I can put you back. Army kid? Yeah, I was, actually. From Washington? Nice, nice, nice. Hmm. I kind of also, oh no, not today. Let me try to go dig that. I don't know if I can actually get back there. Hey, Donald, how's it going? How's it hanging? Maybe I could just do like a little stepping stone path from here to here. Like it's not the intended way for you to get to and fro, but you can. Like the intended way is for you to come from here over here, but we'll see. Can I get back there and dig? I can. Okay. The oregano is always in the way. <laughs> it was in the way when you were clearing space for Mirabelle's house. It is, and it stinks that you can't move it in, um, in uh, build mode. Okay, and then I kind of a little bit want to, like, I don't know. It doesn't make sense for there to be just bikes back here with no way to get there, but I kind of want to section this off. Like, this is an area you're not necessarily supposed to have access to. Maybe I'll just do some bushes or something here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That's my go-to. I'm just like, yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> it's a mess now, but we'll make something work. Okay. I do think it would be nice to have fencing here. Oh, well, but that doesn't want to go there, but that's fine. I don't think it needs to necessarily. Okay. Just a little fence number. To block off this area. Yeah, I think this would be like the kids area mostly. I can put that there. Let me move this. Let me move this. Move this. Oh, wait. Actually, a buzz might be cool over here. Can I move you over a little bit? Ugh. Woody's doesn't want to cooperate. What if I put that there? And then I put this here. Hmm. 
I hate just all of this open pavement. It makes me so unhappy. I can't explain it. I just know that that's how I feel. I suppose I could put something there, but it feels weird. Delete you for now. Put Mr. Incredible suit right there. That's fine. Got a little photo booth. Maybe another Pixar ball or another set of the... I don't think I have another Pixar ball, but I might have another set of the blocks. You've been to Universal Studios in Florida and California. Nice. You had so much oregano and basil, you had to start selling it. You're overloaded with it. Same. I don't keep any of it anymore. I usually actually don't even pick it if I can avoid it. Oh no, that's too large to be there. I need something that's the same size as that or smaller. Oh, Space Ranger ship. I don't have space for these things. What if instead of this being here, I brought this this way? I feel like that would make maybe a little bit more sense. It's weird, but might work. I don't know. We're coming to the point of this stream where I'm like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I'm still having fun, but at this point, I'm just like, my creativity, I think, is mostly gone. It looks awesome. Thank you. It's not my favorite thing ever. We might be able to, like, I don't know. Try to finesse it a little bit. But I'm not, like unhappy with it. I think at the end of the day, like, I love parks. I love the idea of having a park in Dreamlight Valley, but the actual aesthetics of having a park are not 100% like in line with how I typically would decorate like my valley or something, if that makes sense. You put the buzzer ship and stitches ship in a little area and used it as a kitty ride. Yeah, that's kind of like my idea with having it here, right? Like, I imagine this would be like I always think of this in Barnes and Noble. We used to have those in Barnes and Noble, like where I lived. They would have like these little kid play areas with like little Thomas the Trains or something like that. I imagine this being one of those where like little kids can come play. And then you have like a little ride they could sit on or whatever and pretend to be space rangers. And then you have like a little, not arcadey section, but, oh, bus is facing backwards. But where you have like, you know, a little strength test, a little alien machine. Oh, I should put the actual aliens out here. A couple chairs for parents to just sit or whatever. Um, or like the person who's, I don't know, keeping watch of this area. You got a little carousel. Or a merry-go-round. What's the difference? They're the same thing, aren't they? You got a little photo booth. So that's like, I don't know. Just the vibe that I imagine for this. I might, I don't know. Just finish this off with bushes around here. I have to think about it. Have I played Speedstorm yet? Um, I have, absolutely. <laughs> I've done nothing but play Speedstorm <laughs> pretty much since it came out. I mean, on stream, obviously, I've played other things as well, but um, I'm a bit obsessed with Speedstorm. I love it so much. Maybe I'll just set that little motorcycle there, that little elasticycle. Carousel has horses, merry-go-round doesn't. Oh, interesting. I've never heard of that distinction before. That's kind of cool. Let me see if I want to round that out, because this wouldn't be an entrance. But, I mean, well, it doesn't have an entrance, but I know there are a couple of rides, I think, where the entrance will be one place and the exit will be somewhere else. So maybe, like, the entrance to this ride is on one side, like, maybe this side, but then you exit on this side. And are just make-believe... <laughs> In our make-believe Dreamlight Park fantasy, that's what happens. 
you enter from the pal around side and you exit into this little like play area with the kids. Hi, Haley, how's it going? Um, okay, what else do we need? Rocks. I can't say that, Kitty, because <laughs> I actually have one kind of clothes. And she'll start doing that. No, I was gonna do like stepping stones there, but I don't think I will. I don't think I will. Keep it organizing for people entering and ex exercising? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let me delete some of this stuff. I need to dig that up and pick that because I won't be able to move them manually. Let me move some of this stuff, though. It's 530. I need to stop streaming. Um, But let me at least see if I can get a bit of a layout for some of the larger items. Not like full on decorate, but a little bit see where I want them. The thing is, this is kind of a mess. But at the same time, I feel like it's the kind of a mess that, I don't know, a park might actually be. I still hate this. This big section of stuff. Let me see if this might be dumb. How did you get back there? This is giving really dumb, but I feel like I need to try it for the sake of me. Oh, of course you can't line those up. Why would you be able to? Why would you be able to? Isn't what one ride? Uh, will Dumbo be in the game? I don't know. It amazes you how often designers change their valley. You're more of a forever decorator. I thought I would be that way, but then I realized that uh, these would have to be a different color to work here. Also, they just don't work here. I need to figure out something else to do there. I just don't like that it's just a huge stretch of pavement. Donald is still throwing a tantrum. Um, but then I realized that this is a live service game so it's constantly going to be changing and evolving with the characters we get, the buildings we get. Um, and it might not be possible to like stay attached to something forever, which is not very much in my nature. Like I love finding something that I've spent a lot of time on and that I really like and kind of keeping it because decorating for me is like a lot of effort. But um, yeah, might not have that luxury with this game. So I'm trying to not put myself in a position where I end up crying <laughs> when I have to change things inevitably and just kind of taking the initiative myself and changing things around. Hi, Ashley. How are you? Wait, what about the challenge rolls? No, you can place as many rides as you want for the Dreamlight challenge. As many as you want. Okay. Um, right. Maybe I feel like I might end up not using these. It's a small world things. I don't know for sure, but I just have that feeling. I really like them. But I feel like it's just, I don't know, hard to find something that they suit. Let me move this stuff. You can feel a migraine coming. Oh no, laughable one. Hi, how are you? The fact that you can't line the flower beds up is annoying. Wait, what do you mean? Like, oh, just like right up against each other. I agree. It's not one of my favorite things. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do with this what I wanted to do with this.
in that event, I feel like I'll probably set that there. Maybe I'll just do a couple of these. One after the other. I don't know, that feels silly. Maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll just bring that out a little bit. see can I use these somehow I need to leave that mining node open can I make like a little wall situation like a backdrop for like a little food court or something maybe looks really fabulous thank you come put you out of your misery wait how how if you do forever decorating what do you do with new items like the rides or from and the oasis from nala that's true i feel like it's just i mean you could you definitely could but i think it would be quite difficult Hmm. I don't know. Wait, that doesn't make any sense because you would need to get there to order. That doesn't make sense. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm thinking something sort of like this. We can have a cart with the stuff you can buy. Um, we can have like a little food court situation. We can maybe set up a couple like picnic tables. Um, probably the lighter colored ones. Let me just, why am I doing it this way? That's the most difficult way to do it. Why don't I just filter it by Lilo and Stitch? Um, yeah, we could set up like a couple of these. Ooh, the wagon is cute. I don't think I have anywhere I need to put this wagon or that would make sense to really have this wagon, but. Oh, it slots next to Mickey, or Mickey's. Oh my goodness, Woody's house pretty cutely, but there's no need. Um, Maybe like, What am I looking for? Maybe we could even put like a thing of lounge pillows somewhere, like a little cute resting spot. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe these would actually be cute down by the theater too. That might be cute. And then we could put this like in the center back here somewhere. Although having the teacups right by the food is pretty funny to me. It's not something I think would actually occur, really. Let's see. I've used so much paving here. 118 likes, oh my goodness. The purple thorns look beautiful. Wait, the night thorns? They are very pretty. Um, let's see. You played Animal Crossing for six hours straight once, you're pretty sure. I have probably done that before as well. I can play games for a long time. Are you something I can pick up? No, that fern also can't be picked up. Wow, I'm offended. Okay, well, this is silly. This is silly. All 
I don't know. Some kind of path going from there to there. And this... Maybe the entrance would be there, like, pretty much right when you come out of here. I know I said I was going to go. You can tell me to leave. I was like, time to end stream, and here I am. Is stream over? Not yet. I mean, just about, but... Something like that. Not you. And then this could be just like... I don't know. Something. Something. What other kind of thing could we put over here? Oops. Picnic blankets. Oh, let me consult my handy dandy notes app. Um, I have all of those things. Oh, I suppose we could put, um... Oh no, we've made a fatal flaw. Fatal error. How could you all let me forget? We have... How am I going to find those? We have this! Maybe we'll have to put this over here. And move this closer. Like that. Yeah, something like that, maybe. Maybe we can have this blanket fort over here. I don't know. That's kind of weird, isn't it? And then maybe we can have, like, um, 30 more minutes. <laughs> What's been my longest Dreamlight Valley stream? I did, like, an all-day Dreamlight Valley Dreamlight grind one day where we streamed pretty much from, like, 10 a.m. to, like, 8.30 p.m. intermittently. I think I took, like, an hour break a couple times, but that was long. Maybe with, like, um... What am I looking for? Maybe with like a little picnic blanket? I don't know. Maybe something like that. You have popsicle mode, so you're gonna make some while you... Did I say modes or molt? Um, you're gonna make some while you watch this. Hopefully you won't step on your headphone cord and drop your iPad again. Oh my. I feel like we're a little bit on the right track with this side of... The thing. What does everybody think? Is there anything else I should be putting that I'm missing? Um... I did say modes. <laughs> that makes sense. I was like, I feel like I said the wrong thing. I'd probably... See, the thing about this, though, also, is that... I don't want this to be all the way... Ugh, sigh. Oh, I can do this. Maybe. Is it a little ratchet? Yeah. Are we going to work with it? Probably. We're going to try to. Because I don't want this whole thing to be... Like, I want to have some grass here, I think. Okay. 
could probably pull this forward a little bit. Hmm. Lighting for picnic area eventually? Yeah, I usually do lighting last. Scroll through the inventory? No, that's gonna take five ever. Um, I kind of like the idea of having... Listen, I know I'm a mess. Just give me a minute. <laughs> I am doing this path in the most chaotic way possible, and I am aware of that. Just let it happen. It'll fix itself eventually. Okay, I like the idea of having this like just in the middle of a square area that's not like necessarily, I don't know. Pretty much all things considered, I don't want everything paved. I wanna be able to see grass. So having something like No, no, no. Like this. Oh, I'm not going to be able to pull that back more. With obviously another recycling bin. Love the layout so far. Thank you. You think in a way it's harder with so many options? It can be sometimes. You have to do a lot of self-editing. Um, uh, Disney. Recycling bin. And then maybe another like over here or something. Or like over here in the corner. Oh, I remembered what I missed. How could you all let me forget? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I blame you all for everything, but I hope you know that it's just it's just a joke. Um, I forgot the figment topiary. That's something that is a shame. I never should have done that. But we should still have a place for it, potentially. I know it's just a very large topiary. I don't know, something like that. I know it's random. We could put something there. I just like the idea of being able to see the grass. I like grass. I asked what I was missing, so you needed to see what I had. That's true. Figment topiary. I have so many of them. I have 10 of them. Maybe this is what I'll put here instead. We'll put a figment. Maybe you can put a picnic blanket there. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, that way you can overlook the balloon basket. You think it looks great? Thank you. Pathing drives you crazy as a Switch user. I feel that. Pathing drives me crazy as a PC user. Hi, Lee. How are you? You don't know it's a joke. You write about it in your diary. Oh, no. Maybe just like here. Um, Let me come over here. Oh, well, let me undo that then. Oh, let me exit. Oh, it's going to get so mad at me. I've done so much stuff. It's really mad at me, isn't it? How much did it undo? Oh no. It just like undoes random stuff. Like this wasn't here. This hasn't been here for so long and it just decided to put it back. It's also raining. I think that's my cue. You asked the question at the first part of the stream. I didn't see it. Wait, what question? 
you like it? Your walkways are paved and the rest is grass for your theme park. You use the meadow. Oh, cute. You like to watch, but might be time to walk away and come back. <laughs> yeah, I think I probably will. But actually, all things considered, I'm not mad about it so far. Um, and then maybe actually pathing here as well. This will be like, this is the entrance and this is the exit. And then this will need to move a little bit so it's centered. We can do like a rock outline or something here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can figure the rest of this out eventually. I'm not mad about this potential layout, but it will need some finessing, I think. All things considered, productive stream today. We got a lot of stuff done. And overall, I'm pretty happy about it. Statue question. Wait, what statue? I'm doing okay, Lee. Welcome. I'm happy you were able to make it to a stream. You use the meadow and you love to keep your grass out, but I know that. Yeah. Oh, you may stream this weekend. That's exciting. You're too tired this week. That's fair. You asked if I was using the figment statue. Oh, I heard you ask if I was using a statue, but I thought you meant this statue. I think if you, I think probably the word statue threw me off because this is like a topiary. It's so cute too. I can't wait to drive figment this weekend in um, Speedstorm. Anyway, thank you all so much for putting up with me. Let me see who's playing what. Uh, we can see if anyone's streaming. It's so late, so I'm sure we'll get a whole new group of people than we usually have at this time. Okay, let me see. Maybe stream Speedstorm? I might have to- Oh, wait, I just forgot. I have something I can't get out of on Friday. So I can't even- Ooh. I'll probably have to play Figment on Saturday, the event. Um... Let me see, Dreamlight Valley. I feel like not many people have been streaming Dreamlight Valley lately. I feel like a lot of people have been playing Speedstorm. Mm, no, I also don't think anybody's playing right now. Okay, no one to go to, unfortunately, which is a bit sad. But thank you so much for coming. Not 20 more minutes. <laughs> I appreciate you all so much. Thanks for putting me up, uh, putting up with me for so long. Um, oh yeah, I would totally play with you on Saturday if you stream on Saturday. Um, I will be back on Sunday, maybe before then though, maybe I'll stream on Saturday or something. Um, but until I see you all next time, I hope you take care of yourselves. And that's pretty much it. Goodbye, everybody.